Today we are continuing our look at RimWorld Console Edition. Uh, we're gonna try to up the difficulty of the game and maybe get into some fights. I'd like to finish off my base. I'm just gonna zoom on over there really quick because we're about to be raided. I spent a little bit of time just sprucing things up in the interim. See what I did there? Interim, because it's, it's a pun. Anyway, um, another day on the rim. <laughs> anyway, we've got a fridge, uh, we've got our prison cells, we've got some storage. It's a little bit crude and rudimentary, but everything is more or less laying out like I want it to. There's still a few things we need, like a kill box over here. Um, this is kind of a multifunction room, which needs to be made specialized, maybe as an infirmary and an armory or something. Uh, this is like our crafting workshop. Uh, again, we're here on Twitch, so we've got everybody kind of backseating me again today. So hopefully if we notice anything about the console edition that uh, uh, we're trying to give feedback on, that'd be nice. Uh, I, I imagine if you watch this in the future, some of these issues might be cleared up. But um, so far, I think they did a really good job on the console edition. I am maintaining that opinion, and my speed with the controls has fortunately improved since the last time. I was kind of muddling through last time, but I wanted to muddle through. Um... Try to get into more combat and just break the game a bit today if we can. I, I maintain that. I want to try to find as many things that are awkward or missing as I can. But so far, I've had a pretty hard time finding things that are awkward or missing. Um, again, I played about an hour. I'm way faster with the controls. And I did chat a little bit with my contact from Devil 11. And he said that the team was there watching the last stream and like writing down notes. So that's a really good sign. Um, I'm going to try to just point out some things I have feedback on right away but I did see a patch like shortly after I did the stream so I, I do believe that uh, they're doing a really good job and everybody I um, heard from in the comments said yeah like all the other ports they've done or they've played from double 11 they really enjoyed them um, I guess my quick feedback is I've noticed in the clothing assignment tab since the last time there has been added in uh, tainted a not tainted clothing policy so this is awesome, uh, but I'm also getting, maybe it's because of the way that I'm forcing clothing right now. I'm going to just clear all the forced. Uh, I don't know if it was working out or if it's like a work in progress, but it's at least good to see that that's there. I'm going to unforbid this tainted flak jacket, which they've been trying to wear, but I'm like, no, it's tainted. Um, so that's clothing policies. The other thing is just custom scenarios. It would be nice to see a little bit more assign medicine tab to just be able to quickly do it. I don't... I can't figure out what the band-aid means, or if that's supposed to be part of it, but um, I haven't figured out how to get that to work on that screen, so I have to individually go to every pawn's information, which is a little bit annoying to me. Um, not so bad, but yeah, just a thought. Other little quality of life things, like being able to double click to select all similar structures here is also missing, but you can do it with items, so that's good. Uh, just that. Snap two colonists would also be nice because so far I can select them, but you know, doing much more than that is not really possible. And um, the one thing that I also found was a little hard to find was this one might slip past you as if you have a home area and you can invert it just fine and everything like that. But I was selecting and I was trying to figure out how to clear out the home area, uh, but it's actually labels as, as undo. So you have to hold down square with undo which just seemed kind of like strange verbiage for that. Uh, but that's the only thing that I'm really noticing uh, that's different. Uh, the positive that I'll say, I start on the negative, is that I entered the same kind of flow state in my mind playing RimWorld as I normally do playing the PC version. So that's the overall sign of this is a very good port. Um, and all the minutia that I thought would be tedious, like prioritizing things or even cleaning an area like that, uh, it does open up a quick sub-menu. It's very satisfying and fun to work in the minutia rather than tedious and boring. Okay, we are being raided now. Um, I am ready for the raid. And let's do this. So see how quickly I could just draft and move everybody into position? I'm liking that a lot. Um, are you... Oh, these guys have a bolt-action rifle and an auto pistol, but they're... It seems they're taking the long way around, and are they headed for the insects for some reason? I'll have to... Okay, for some reason they're heading straight for the insects. Uh, wow! Okay, that's exactly the same AI as I would get on PC. Uh, honestly, no iron... No sarcasm or irony right there. That is just really funny. They must have sensed that there was a hostile presence there, so they just went straight 
into the cave. What an amazing idea. This is like when someone wanted to start a party in there just the other day. You know what? Just stay home, guys. Though I would like their weapons. Nah, I'm going to undraft them. Classic RimWorld. I was hoping that they would at least shoot the bugs and make it easier for us to fight them, because I would like to take those out, but right now they're just sort of acting like raider repellent. Go home. Anyway, I'm going to turn back on notifications uh, now for a second. We just got a bunch of gift subs from uh, Dracomon. Thank you very much for those five gift subs, Dracomon. Appreciate that. Truly too kind to me. Um, <clears throat> thank you. If you're getting a gift sub, please be sure to say thanks. Anyway, now that I've cleared out a lot of the housekeeping, I think the only thing I wanted to add on is just I got a lot of comments about people saying no mods, like what is this? Uh, I prob there's probably not much convincing people who just leave comments of I hate this. But uh, again, I just kind of maintain that it's an apples and oranges type of thing. Like, um... Like, why, why compare PC RimWorld to console? Obviously, you're getting a different experience, but, you know, it's probably falling on deaf ears, so I am just wanted to posit that out there. Um, anyway, yeah. Uh, I mean, for me, you know, obviously, I've played it so many times that I'm just like, yeah, obviously, I'm going with mods, so I would go with PC. Just play the PC version, then. <laughs> Simple as that. Um, it's another option. It's not forcing you to do it. Um, camera movement has also been a little bit disorienting to viewers, which is why I'm, I mean, I'm going to keep moving the camera, but obviously on PC, you can just leave the camera in a stationary zone. Are you dead or are you just cloud watching? Cloud watching. Okay. Good to confirm that. Uh, and I also did kind of f fly the idea of PC option controllers by Devil 11, but it sounds like that's a Ludeon decision. So, hey, I mean, if Ludeon decides to just make it an alternate play mode, if I have no idea what would go into that, that's very wishful thinking of me, but I just wanted to throw like one crazy community idea because a lot of people are liking the controller movement. Um, but yeah, I, I believe that's it. If you or a loved one has been diagnosed with paralytic, ab fortunately we haven't had anybody with paralytic abasia in this colony yet. Uh, some console games support mods. I believe that there was one statement of like, we're looking into how the game could potentially be customized a bit more. So I did, obviously I'm not anyone who has any, I know nothing of the internal development of RimWorld. I just, I just get game and I play game, you know. But um, yeah, uh, if they add that in, would be kind of cool. I think I'm going to add this in as a prisoner table. Tell you what. Like a table for eating at. A smelly smell that smells smelly. Let's also reinstall these at the door entrance. Roses are red, violets are blue. Here it, it comes. It has been a year that I've been sub to you. Stuck the landing. Hey, Ella's one. Thank you very much for the sub. <laughs> Thank you for the poem, first and foremost. Mm -hmm. Constipated, oh wait, no, compensated fighting. Uh, okay, are they coming to us? Caravan is being hunted near Tevin. Uh, I don't want to do too much travel with only three colonists. I'd rather wait until we get another colonist. I would take them if they, if people come and try to fight us, I will fight them. But if they uh, do the other thing, I won't do that. I'm going to go ahead and try to make some bedrooms today finish off the base and just like advance in technology so let's go ahead and i mean now that the whole place is very clean i'm going to go ahead and change the work to i believe sheckley is the one who has the time so i will have him priority down on these two as you can see all the menus i'm now just much better at navigating so there shouldn't be too much hold up today ah. Yeah, sorry if I ignored anything in comments for a little while. I'm, uh, that was just giving my spiel. But if I missed anything, feel free to ask again. I wasn't intentionally trying to ignore it. And probably a couple of them I was intentionally trying to ignore if someone was asking something very personal and a, about a humiliating skeleton in my closet or something like that. Be a shame if someone were to do that. <laughs> uh, this guy has uranium in his bedroom. 
Now all I can think of is uranium fever. You know, remember that? What was that Fallout 4? And the other thing I've done, I know that these bedrooms are really awkwardly shaped. I'm just tired of having boxy bedrooms, and I'm also trying to build them into a mountainside. So, like, keep that in mind. Oxy Bacon, thank you very much for the prime. How are the console controls? I think the console controls are as good as they could possibly be. Um... Yeah, I don't want to go too much into the controls anymore unless if... At this point, I'm going to get only into th if things feel awkward at any time, and I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean that in just that they're so good that I don't want to belabor, like, saying that again because I was re-watching the stream, and I was just like, these controls are so good for the entire last one, like, every three seconds. Because I was amazed, because I tried to make sure that I was, like, uh... Um, I'm just trying to make everything nicer right now. I was truly amazed, though, the last time, and I was trying to make sure that I was muddling through the game. Like, I'm very wary of doing blind playthroughs of things, but I felt like that that merited one? Because... It was... Like, uh... It, it was something that needed to be seen being muddled through. The, the, uh, the RimWorld, you know, console edition. Because if I were muddling through learning it, I think that would make it less sellable. Not really less sellable, but like more of an honest review. You know what I mean? Like I wanted to make sure that I had my own complete opinion. Or that I was at least forming my opinion on it at that time. Which was, all those opinions were my own. Though I did receive a key to it, so take that with, you know, a grain of salt. But I am saying it right here. Review D's next. All these nuts. I was going into Aldi the other day and I was trying to pick out the nuts. You guys ever shop at Aldi? And all I was thinking of is, I'd better get some of all these nuts. <laughs> uh, Triple G, thank you very much for the 300 bits. Yeah, you know, I mean, I, I called it 10 out of 10 on the thing too, to be fair. Um, you know, I'm being a little bit facetious there. I, I really do think that the PC version is a 10 out of 10. As far as it could have been done, I think they did a 10 out of 10 job. But I mean, if we're talking about like, what is a 10 out of 10 game? I'm thinking like Tony Hawk, you know? Tony Hawk was probably a 10 out of 10 game. Nothing else has, has so far come close at all to Tony Hawk. He's so cool with his bird name. Uh, Gets me every time. Let's add in a couple of beds. So that people can sleep like normal humans and no one will question what's going on in this colony. Now I'm going to go ahead and change the, <coughs> excuse me, all the single beds to double beds. Because I want my colonists to just simply move in with one another in case if they ever get a roomie. Um, but uh, I'm going to change all of these to prisoner beds in time. So let's go ahead and, well, I guess we'll wait until those double beds are finished. I'm also notably building these out of wood, because that's actually more comfortable. If you build beds out of, like, stone, they may look nicer, but they're going to be more uncomfortable. It also seems that we're running low on power. Um, I don't love that. I, I think it's due to the extremely cold refrigerator temperature. I was thinking that th two... How many we have? Two solar panels would be enough for this. Ultimately, I'm going to kind of shield these things in because I'm just wary of explosions leading to one another and some horrible spiral. So I'm trying to preemptively, well, prevent fire spread. Uh, and we also can't really rely on geothermal power this time around. It might be due to the lack of batteries, though. Let's go ahead and make another ba battery. I don't know why I'm saying it like a sheep. A ba <laughs> so if they're all trying to get out. Uh, every, every, oh, some other people shop at Aldi in the comments. Okay, there we go. Yeah, my friends were just telling me about this last night. They were like, you should come with us to Aldi. I think I might buy some nuts there. <laughs> I was really controlling myself from uh, saying the jokes. From saying that joke. I go to Trader Joe's. Though I was told that there was some sort of, like, 
schism between Trader Joe's and Aldi, or I have no idea. Is that even or like that? Maybe the founders set it up right. I'm just very fond of the word schism. It could be that. All right, let's also go ahead and just do a little bit more planting as well. Hmm. You can make that joke when you go into all the. Uh, that one was. That one was an original. No, that that one was. <laughs> I'm the only person who's ever made. <laughs> no, of course not. There we go. Uh, hang on a second. Whoa, they are very efficient. I, I'll also say this. I picked out very good colonists for this. And all the other reviews that I was hearing about were from people who had no idea how to play RimWorld. So they were like, I died five times in my first playthrough. And I was like, well, that's nice. You noob. I, I had this like MLG gamer moment. It was a little sad, but it was like, it was kind of necessary because, you know. I'm great at this. We got Psychoid here. Psychoid would be very profitable, but I'm wondering if I'm going to be ready for that yet. It, it is a bit much work. But, you know, uh, I wanted to get a really crazy good-looking base. Psychoid would be good, and also Corn would be good as well. We're just going to have to be very careful with this zone here. Let's do a lot of this. I, I like to separate out my plants more. But that won't be possible today. Interact. Uh, let's grow this zone. Expand the zone. I think that all the other zone expansion... I know I said that thing about the home zone, but I think that the other zone expansion tools are very nicely... Like, done. Uh, potato plant, we don't really need it. Hay grass, not... I don't love animals in this game. Smoke leaf slows them down too much. I think I'm going to do a little bit of hops right here. What is this, psychoid? Okay, so I have more psychoid than hops. And then um, let's do one last strip. Yeah, you know, I was surprised. The UI is kind of hit or miss. Some people love it. And some people are saying, no, I hate it. But then one person made the comment that, um, just looking over what people thought, because I was genuinely curious who was watching the video. Um, and one person said it kind of makes sense if you're on a TV why it's so big, because you're probably sitting farther away from the TV, so that does kind of make sense. Uh, I'll do corn there, and I think I'm going to shrink my rice zone a little bit to, whoops, cancel that. Um, select this zone. Let's shrink this zone and change it to corn, because corn is like slightly higher risk because it takes longer, but it can be a really high yield too. So, like, high risk, high reward, but in time, that should start to pay off. Uh, we also got a transport pod crush. Uh, we got a guy named Fugly. This is this was, like, an OG RimWorld name. He's very far off, though. But I do have them carrying around one medicine each, so maybe they can save him. Strip him. What is he wearing again? We may actually need to strip him, to be fair. How is his health? Death in six hours. We might have to do some emergency medical technicianing. Okay, this is one of those situations where I said I wanted to wait for is some kind of like game breaking type of thing. He's only 27. Uh, what are his other qualities? Is this guy worth saving? He could be a good researcher, yeah. Uh, does he have other characteristic traits of a researcher that would be desirable? He was a civil servant and a story writer, but what are his traits? Uh, why do I forget where to see the traits? <laughs> where does it say his traits? Very neurotic night owl. Oh, absolutely not. No. Um, are we affiliated with him in any way? Social. Okay, good. Let him die. Oh, wait. No, that's relationships. Uh, yeah, let's take his clothes, too. Wait, but he's a space refugee, so it's completely fine to just take his stuff and leave him to die. Hate to see you go. Hate to see you go. Somebody get him, you know? Somebody get him. Is somebody going out to take his stuff? Now, I guess nobody's assigned to medical. Well, that's pretty much fine. Squirrel self-tamed. Immediate release. Look, it's coming to live with us. I don't want it. 
I don't want it. Uh, release. Well, we could just slaughter it and it's a free meal. All right, I'll take that instead. All right, it sounded like the squirrel died immediately. <laughs> Did anyone hear the squirrel? Would I recommend console version? Look, if you're really into mods on the PC, I would recommend you to stay with the PC version. But if you want to play RimWorld from your couch, or if you own only a console, I would recommend it. I'm surprised at how much I liked it, though. I'll say this. Liked it more than I expected. Can you use a mouse and keyboard with the console edition? Good question, because there are those mouse and keyboard packs that they sell, right? Uh, the other thing is that I read that it was for PS5 and Xbox Series X as well. I had been playing it on Xbox One and PS4. Um, or actually just PS4, but I knew that it was for that too. But, um, I imagine there's no plans right off the bat. Just like my common sense in me says. But that would be kind of cool if it were added in. Just because there are those people, but at that point, it, like if you've bought the keyboard and mouse for your <laughs> for your console, just buy a PC, man. You know, that's kind of my anyway. That's how my way of thinking goes. But I am a snoot to a certain extent. All right, let's go ahead and start to actually specialize out these other areas. I think um. We've got blue fur over here. We have so many different textiles in this area. Just look at them all. Um, I think I'm going to reinstall this. Just one square south of there. We take all of this and we build a copy. I got a masterwork wooden shelf the last time. I was like, uh, the most useless thing to get a copy of. Let's do more of these. I'm a little slightly wary of wood on the shelves, but I also don't really want to make them out of anything. Eh, actually, you know what? We could cancel these. I don't... I'm just wary of everything going up in a massive blaze of wooden sadness. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do... Mm, there it is. It's kind of interesting how you have different items stick to different, like, material types. I'm very much liking the way that things don't, like, snap on or toggle on or toggle off on the console. It feels, it feels very natural, and it doesn't feel like I'm having to navigate the same menus multiple times. Um, yeah. Snoot. Hmm, storage. Important, let's turn off everything except we want. I believe textiles are under manufactured just textiles here, right? Important, allow fresh, allow bad. Uh, oh, I, I always get frustrated why they automatically put the weapons on these things. First world problems. Whoops, not all manufactured. Oh, don't get too ahead of yourself there. There we go. I mean, is it really worth it to, maybe this room is a bit much. I don't want them to be here all day. Smoothing can be an extremely time-consuming task. I mean, when I get down to smooth for a day or two with some of my friends, you know, we could be there all week smoothing. My friend invited me over to his house. Need some help smoothing out these walls, Snoot Rob. Kahoot. Can you play that game Stray on the channel? Just Snoot buy a Kahoot. PS5. Or do a dramatic reading of some <laughs> of the worst-reviewed games on Steam. That sounds kind of funny. <laughs> Can you do Kahoot on PS5? I'm imagining it like a... It's not like a classroom game. <laughs> Some kid brings in his PS5. Everybody else is on a Chromebook. <laughs> Ready, guys. Do it for my team. He starts, like, speedrunning Kahoot. That would be a good idea. I'm pretty sure that would be a very good idea. Let's go do storage. Mm, raw resources. Manufactured. Let's just keep it with the textiles. There's going to be a lot of them here. There's going to be many, many dead squirrels. What other items do we need to take uh, or keep track of? I do think that we'll keep this as an armory. I w you want, well, two things. One, you want to keep it away from your prisoners. Two, you want to keep it near the front lines, but you want to also keep it kind of secured from being behind the front lines because that could be dangerous. <laughs> 
let's be honest. Um, yeah. I think the research room will start to move out, too. And let's also actually do another research research order. Again, really loving this new research screen. Uh, do we have multi-analyzer? Research not available. The other thing I'm starting to notice, I'm just going to voice all these complaints, is I can't seem to see all the prerequisites all the time. Like, what is preventing me from getting the... Oh, I just answered my own question, didn't I? Oh, I need a high-tech research bench. Okay, there it is. So I need. I had the show. Does that work for everything on that screen? Because I could not find that earlier. Yep, it does. Okay, wow. Way to just totally answer my own question. It's almost as if I uh, uh, scripted that for the stream. <laughs> Would be funny if I were doing that in the background right now, wouldn't it? Uh, no, not really that funny. Wood. How I need you. TP Cobra, thank you very much for coming out. Your kind, kind words. Hope you, hope the streams and videos help you enjoy whatever you came to them for more. Remember, I, I watched the Yogs cast when I was about sixteen. Uh, strangely, I couldn't enjoy playing Minecraft as much as watching that. There are strange things in life like that, like how you enjoy watching someone else do something more. Oh, here was my other thing, was the tattered apparel policy I couldn't set, like a certain percentage. I imagine that might be in a plan, like with the other update, but... Just a thought. Just a thought. I also wanted that to get out to the devs if they ever see this. Um, alright, so let's see what we can do about this tattered apparel BS. Um... Yeah, I don't... Actually, that is... I'll be honest right here, that is slightly game-breaking for me because it causes so much more micromanagement in just one little menu option that I didn't see in the game, so... Uh, that will be my one thing that is annoying me. <laughs> um, I will say that, because now it says not tainted, so that's good. Uh, but I, I still need certain percentages. See, I can't seem to change the percentage of clothing allowed here, so that is... Honestly, it's it's pretty game breaking. What I'm gonna have to do here is figure out who has the tattered apparel and just manually reassign it to them, which is horrible for large colonies. So, yep, that's the one game breaking feature that is not there that I have discovered. Unless unless if it's just there and I'm not seeing it. But yeah, that's gonna be my one thing I say. There I said it. Okay, you are very social, aren't you, sir? Maybe you could get a nice pair of pants from Salinas. Tattered apparel sounds like a designer brand. Yeah, they're just stuck wearing all of this designer clothing that they don't want to be in. Let's go ahead and sell some of these other items too. There we go. Auto pistol. Cloth-worn tribal wear. It'd be nice if I could slightly faster navigate around this menu, but also too, maybe I'm just slow. Information. Hmm. Or maybe if that text like scroll. Well, now I'm just starting to request random things. <laughs> and they should pay me a million dollars to play it, you know? <laughs> and, ah! Hmm. No. And everyone should deliver uh, DoorDash to my door whenever I boot up the game. That would be. <laughs> That would be a, a necessary feature. They're not only a good feature, but also a necessary one. So I decree. So I decree. Wouldn't that be... Wouldn't it be interesting if that were my personality? Or anyone's. Hmm. Hey, Arabaluba. And, uh, Porcelet. Thank you very much for the subs. All right, so let's go ahead and start to actually construct the rec room. I do believe it's in a decent enough state at this point in time for us to uh, use it. Let's go ahead and make everything out of marble because marble is nice. We will probably get rid of the old stuff in there. I'm not going to make it very... F I could make it fine. Ooh, am I going to make it fine? It does require 20, though. Let's just start with the normie tile. Marble tile. 
Anyone remember that uh, Saturday Night Live sketch with mar marble columns? You should get some marble columns for your home. Look at all these fine marble columns. Who lives here? The Pope? <laughs> uh, all right, who is naked? Uh, basically, everyone is naked. Uh, for, um, you know, at least they've removed those pesky clothes. Those pesky clothes. Now, what are you... Who are you wearing? <laughs> who are you wearing? Uh... <laughs> Let's find out about these people. Is anyone wearing anything? Tainted. Yeah, so they're all on the not tainted clothing policy, but they... So then that, I'm assuming that that just has yet to be added in. Drop that cloth toque. Uh, at least we get rid of the tattered apparel, and let's just forbid that clothing. And we'll have to manually burn it all for now. Um, everything else appears to be ship-shape. Unhappy nudity. So now all that we really need is just... Um, 58 degrees, so they could be wearing dusters. Don't they have clothing that is an option to wear, though? Yeah, this is a completely normal shirt that you could wear. Are they somehow... Hang on a moment. I object to this. We are electing nudity right now, sir. Who are you wearing? It's like... <laughs> you know how they'll do that? Uh, all right, let's figure out what this option is showing. Headgear, headgear, common. Um, I wonder if this clothing policy is just... Oh, wait a minute. No, we're not on taint, not tainted yet. Ah, aha! Oh, then perhaps... Perhaps some... I'm going to leave it on not tainted in case if there's a feature that I'm just not seeing. But yeah, I... I Bowler hat, okay. Yes, wear the shirts, as long as they're not tainted. Uh, yeah, leave it at that. Alright. I mean, I'm fine with just, like, everybody being nude. That's pretty much okay. Good, they're putting on the clothes again. There, there go the pants and the shirt and the jacket and the other items. And let's just leave the crappy clothing around here. If I can figure this out with at least the stockpile, let's go ahead and try that. Determined to micromanage my way to glory as soon as possible. I am putting the tainted clothing over here, so that's good. Mm. Interact. Um, storage. Storage. Let's go with that. Ah, how now, brown cow? How now, brown cow? Okay, so we can designate an area for just doo-doo clothing. You know, I'm not even going to try to get them to trade it because I can't seem to set this policy. So let's just say anything to zero, uh, zero to, let's say 51% set priority. So I can set it in there. And let's just do apparel. Any apparel that's, like, not in perfect quality. I know that this is not optimal RimWorld play, but screw it. And I should be able to... Yep, you could do this. Tainted apparel and clean apparel. Good enough for me. Actually, we have the other area for the tainted apparel. Good. Hmm. Should put the armory inside the rec room in case we have an infestation that we could say... <laughs> yeah... Well, I mean, if you want to see where the infestation is most likely to happen, my money's on the prisoner cells. Or, like, this tiny spot right here. The fridge, I've pretty much prevented it from happening from... But yeah, as long as it's not in the bedrooms. And here we just barely avoided that. Yep. <laughs> Alright, at this point in time, I think I'm going to take these. In fact, we could make these out of marble. Let's try to give them the best possible beds. We have an excellent bed right here. That's amazing. But also, we're more kind of limited by the amount of space there. Let's also mine out this uranium. Hmm. I'm going to do a little bit here, a little bit of work. Let's go ahead and take all of this, and we're going to make this into a... I believe it's under manufactured, even though they're not really... They could be manufactured. Components. This will be our component storage. This is going to be our kind of overall workshop. 
bills, we have dusters. I guess they just haven't gotten onto this task yet. Hmm. Other stuff to do. Oh, yes, I also did say, and let me do this right now, because I said I would change the story difficulty, or the story difficulty to blood and dust. That's what I'm used to playing on, and I, I now genuinely feel confident, confident enough to play it on that. So let's reinstall this over yonder. Methinks this spot, and then methinks this spot as well. We have that nice wooden chess table. Honestly, like a, a nicely finished wood chess table seems... Okay, we've got a mad muffalo already. How is that not deemed an emergency? I think that's very extreme. Hmm. Any specific goals in this playthrough? Trying to spot things I like slash don't like about the console version. Oh, this muffalo is rather close. You go over there, and you go over there. That should give us enough room for this muffalo. It's gone mad. Adam's in there, safely in there. Here we go, here we go. Take him down, take him down. That's four hits, that's five, six. Oh my gosh, that thing was very difficult to take down. Hunt, hunt it I say. Okay, let's try to do some manual firing right here. Attack it. I say, gentlemen, attack it. Wait a minute, we had Q order there. I don't want them to hit each other, but... Yeah, hit it. Can I at least get them to melee it? That is a little bit difficult, yeah. Interact. Okay, here we go. Fire at the muffalo. There it is. So it's just another sub-menu that I didn't see. Okay, I didn't notice that. You hit him and you shoot him. While he's on the ground. A she. Yeah. Put her to sleep. Alright, good job. Took, took out that misery. Took out the misery. All right, so we've got other medicine here. Um, hmm. I guess neutroamine is more of a thing for the workshop as well. So let's make one more table and just dedicate that to neutroamine. Um, I will not allow that, and I will have only neutroamine here. Chem fuel possibly. We'll make another table for chem fuel, though the chem fuel is a little bit more volatile because you want to put it somewhere where it's very isolated and there's no danger of an explosion. Uh, we wouldn't want to have that happen now, would we? And let's also go ahead and take this away. You've noticed maybe a little bit that it's kind of stuttered occasionally here or there. I believe that's just due to... Like, normal RimWorld does that, too. Somebody had also mentioned that they thought that RimWorld had required a ton of PC processing power, but I've read enough comments to... And I don't really know about the inner workings of computers, but I do believe it should work just as well on console as it does on computer. Except for, like, real game-breaking. If you're making colonies with hundreds and hundreds of colonists... Well, now I'm starting to get new ideas. <laughs> um... Yeah, that would be kind of interesting. <laughs> so let's shrink this. I just want this to be uranium. We're bound to not have tons of uranium at any given moment. Uh, storage. Prevent all. Or prevent all. There we go. And let's go with... Is it under raw resources? Uranium. Yep, there we go. Uranium, and for that matter, plasteel. Probably even do jade and gold. Silver, because we've already got the steel. All right, I'd say that we have all of our main resources stockpiled away now. Hmm, and then I think that I'm going to start to make this a low priority area. Kind of like how I like to phase out my old generic storage to the other stuff. Uh, we haven't really done any air conditioning yet. 
It's a mod called Compressed Raids, where it turns big raids into smaller raids with better stats. That sounds interesting, because there are some ridiculously large raids. Mm. Oh, yes, and I also do believe that I said... I do believe that I said that I would change... Or I would make a copy of that. And then let's go ahead and... Uh, see what a keyboard ninja I am, except for with a controller, which isn't a keyboard. I don't know why I said that now. Uh, moments later. But... Like, it's very easy to play this. The one thing is, might be nice if the scroll speed were a little bit higher, but now maybe I'm turning into one of those 360 no-scope kids. Pretty easy to get precision, so I'll take slightly less speed for the good precision. That's nice. But I can see how that could be kind of disorienting, how I have to keep going like this anytime that I want to, you know, at least for uh, Avada. And that, I, I think... As I was saying before, that is the main reason why I will likely not end up doing this uh, for a main series. Unless if I get some wacky idea out of nowhere. In which case, I'll do it on the main channel. Alright, we want to keep that daylily somewhere. It's going to keep everybody nice and happy. Nice and happy somewhere else. Uh, and we should also probably at this point just build a... Do we have a high-tech research bench? We do! And we are empowered by this fact. Yes. Right there. And let's put in that cushy cloth chair. Everybody likes one of these things. Ah, don't... You just want to sit on that? Yeah. That's nice. Okay. New research area. I'm using it to conduct research. Let's also go ahead and just, um, let's deconstruct this. I don't need a passive cooler anymore. I think we're beyond that. And we'll put in the heater over yonder. We also, ooh, one thing I forgot about was bedroom, cross bedroom ventilation. Why is this here of all places? Yeah, clothing policies are going to be a bit of a nightmare here, I, I suppose. <laughs> uh, shame that that happened. Oh, well. Probably that will all be deprecated by the time we're like three videos away from this. Yeah, could, could fall asleep researching. No, he needs an upright back to his chair. A nice upright back of a hard wood. You know, to help him with his studying. I'm gonna go ahead and since I have so much slate, just... I'm gonna do this. Hmm, because I am smart, and I fear explosions. They happen to, at the worst of times. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. There was an explosion. You know what I mean? Like, you feel me, chat? I'm just... <laughs> I'm like, that's so Raven, you know? I'm just seeing into the future. And I'm trying to prevent what could go wrong. I'm just like that, so ah, Raven. Did I spook you? It's been so long. Hey, Mr. Mech, how you doing? Happy to see you, my friend. A long time no chat. How's it going? Thanks for the sub, my guy. Fifteen months, Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. Hmm. Can we get, can we talk about Tynan again? I, I was thinking about, uh, like how my, the inner machinations of I, of my mind and how I imagine him to be, you know? It's not a game, it's a story simulator. I, I would really like him to have this behavior. I don't know if Tynan is anything like this at all, but I, I hope he's like that. Wait a second, why are you out with the rat? Oh, no! Oh, bullocks. Wait, there's two of them? I brought up an insult that's not even... Wait a second, this is... This is ass. This is purest ass. Oh, Jesus. Wait a second, this isn't how blood and dust is supposed to end. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's an overall RimWorld balance issue. Are you kidding me? 
Maybe I should give him a club or a knife. Is that going to be more precision? There are three mad rats that are coming after me. These two are going to die. This one's healthy. All right, it definitely is a story simulator now. Just for that. Just for that. I'm going to reinstall this over here. I'm going to have a colonist die due to mad rats. Well, at least we'll get to see emergency tending. How soon is he going to die? Death in seven hours. This I object to, Rimworld. Ugh. All right, you know what? I'm going to fire at this one, and then I'm grabbing my knife, and I'm going inside. If he objects to violence, too, could he just not for, like, two minutes? These are just rats. Sandstone club, wooden club, marble club. Clubs have no quality, I believe, right? But we do have this plasteel knife, which is probably better. Oh, he can't even equip it at all. Well, you know, Adam, I'm going to use you for the meal... The meat, sh the meat, meat, sh meat shield that you are meant to be. Okay, take a couple of pot shots, and then if they don't work out, I'm gonna bring you back inside. It worked. There were four. Wait a second. This guy is—he's an eagle. Hang on a second, Adam. Uh, all right, I'm gonna undraft Adam. Way to go, Sheckley. Okay, he just earned his royal title. Is Adam dead? No, he's not dead. Just gave up. Rescue him. This is why we need to get the that infirmary started ASAP. Uh, oh, no, not yet. I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. Yes. He's slightly injured. It's fine. Uh, okay, then you rescue him. Ten shield without medicine. Oh, so he's going to tend him. Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, the select undraft. Can I have him set to self-tend? I actually have not had to do this yet. All right, here's where we're going to try to break the game again, see if we can do anything. Change tab. Uh, I did find this somewhere else, didn't I? It's not really in the place where I would expect it to be. Ooh, I haven't had to do a self-tend yet. Yeah, maybe that's another thing. I mean, he doesn't have to, but it would be useful for him to do it right now. Settings, self-tend. Oh, it is on. Okay, I take that back. It is on. It exists. Hmm. Oh, you asked about the controls because you see more colony sims in RTS games going to console. Yeah, that's, uh, that's why I brought up Halo Wars at the beginning. I thought Halo Wars worked out like that. Very nicely. Save him. Somebody save this man. Come on, 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 get him in that bed. Get him in that bed. Rub him until he's healthy again. Death in six hours. Are you a decent doctor, though? I mean, if I assigned you to the medical, you probably are. Yep, all right, five, I'll take it. And he's got the double passion. This is why we can't have nice things... I will allow them to take those rat corpses. Surprisingly, they don't seem to have, um... Oh, what is it? The thing that's basically rabies? I can't remember the name of it. Does anybody remember what that thing is called where the animal turns red when it dies and it's, like, rotten? It's not rabies in RimWorld. It's something else. Yeah. Scaria. Thank you. Um... All right, let's triple time. Are you okay? He is treated, I believe. Oh, no, he's still bleeding. Well, I'd still triple time it anyway. You are getting better. Death in 23 hours. Nope, you're going to be fine. But he's probably going to need... He's probably going to get infected. Oh, my God. They scratched everything possible. And he already had a bad back. I didn't notice that he had a bad back. Shield has a bad back? Sherman is fully healed. Wait a minute, how did you heal? Are you, like, Captain America or something? With your reg or Wolverine with your regenerative abilities? Who is this man? He'll be fine. You get better at healing. 
Are we gonna go the human leather route? Uh, you know, honestly, that would have been... I, I had done so many of those colonies, but it has been a long time, and they are very overpowered colonies. We could do them, and it probably would have been a very good test of the game's, like, uh, adaptation. Because, as far as I'm concerned, RimWorld was meant to be played that way. Very much in that way. Let's go ahead and clean this room. I should have done that before with the tending. Hmm. Right, we're getting the deconstructing, but they are starting to fall a little bit behind on tasks, so... Gonna give them some time to catch up here. And you know what? I'm also gonna go ahead and just take that work off, because if we don't get that work done, I think it's more interesting to have it visually laid out nicely. And you know what? In fact, we could just totally deconstruct this. Do that. Don't ever take it over here. Cancel that. Now we have a- look everyone, we have a free chair! Free promotional chair. All you have to do is fill out this survey and answer 26 questions. Uh, they, well, they're going to tell you at the beginning of the survey that it'll take you only 10 minutes, but, uh... Uh... <laughs> well, so much for that. So much for that. Mm. Let's get this rec room going as well, I think. Yeah, let's get, a uh, dining... Fine dining and breathing going up here. I think we'll have some fine dining and breathing right over there. That's nice. Good. Actually, let's reinstall this over here. No prisoners get food here. Let's get a let's get a, ma a marble table as well. Same reason. I'm not sure if this transfers onto seating, but can you not build stone seating as well? Now I'm gonna do a gamer move too, guys. I'm gonna build two by four tables because they can actually sit across from each other at these things. How was I supposed to distinguish the 1x2 table from the 2x4 table? I meant to, of course I meant to do the 2x4, or the 1x2 table, rather. Well, regardless, regardless, we're gonna do that. Just that. Let's get, like, six chairs in case of future humans. Uh, and what else? We're building that over there, doing this. Okay, we're starting to catch up. We're starting to catch up. Catch up. I love ketchup. Great food. Question. Do the controls feel good? Yeah. To folks coming into chat, I'll just reiterate that. The controls feel excellent. This port has been done very well. I'm also on a... I'm also somebody who, like I said before, has extreme RSI from editing. And, like, just a lot of computer work. I ended up buying a more ergonomic mouse. And it hasn't been as much of an issue lately. But, uh, yeah, it feels good to play on a controller. Okay, question about ketchup, though. Um, when you... You have to refrigerate the ketchup, or does it just go in the cupboard? Like, I've been having this crisis. I don't know what to do. You guys fridge it? But then why at the grocery store? Do they not... Yes! There we go. Right answer. There was a right answer to this question. Fridge after opening. Before then, you can... It's totally optional to leave it in the cupboard. I don't know why. It doesn't really make sense to me, but yeah. Ah, uh, yes, because it's sealed. Fair. Fair enough. Fair enough, chat. All right, let's go ahead and start building that infirmary. I am infirm, and I require someone named Mary. Take me to the infirmary. <laughs> That's a pun. Okay, we got a raid by uh, Izel's terrorists. Hang on a second, we aren't paused. Jump to. They look like bad folks. This person is styling their hair like the devil. Very subversive. Okay, um... I don't like having to fight when we're already injured, and now I'm getting to the point where I would like some sort of softening to occur before they arrive at my base. So is it time to get a kill box going? If you do a kill box wrong, you give the enemy cover. So I am a little bit wary of that. Yeah, don't worry, that's just ketchup on his body. That's not blood. This game's, uh... What is RimWorld rated? Does it even have a rating? We are actually in for a... For a bad time here. 
Hang on a second. Blood and dust might not have been the right move. Uh, could lose my entire colony here. Let's go ahead and see what people are good at. Stats. You are a decent shot. And you unfortunately have a bolt action rifle. But it's mostly just passion that you have. You are a very good fighter. I don't like that. Okay, we gotta be afraid of this guy. Bramble. Or her. What about you? Ooh, you are very good. But you are... Uh, you are a fantastic shot. Actually, this is somebody to be very afraid of. Is that a good quality... It's a poor quality machine pistol, so I'm not as worried. I just want to see what we're dealing with here. And you are terrible with everything, but you are a fast walker, so that's not good. Uh... Ugh. Starting to regret this non-violent colonist. Okay, Adam, you know what you're gonna do? You're going to try to prevent yourself from ever being kidnapped and completely losing the colony. Adam, are you a constructor? Let's go find out. Uh, work. Adam, you, well, you are a constructor now. Actually, he was one to begin with. I should have done a little bit more for security, I admit. Let's do some wood traps just because they're a little bit faster. Um, normally I would have time to do these things on the outside, but let's put them into places where we will just not frequent. I'm thinking that this area has been like a good line of defense and I want to keep it out of their way. So let's put one there, one there and one there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and prioritize Adam on this. Prioritize working on that. Can I do a double and a triple? Oh baby, a triple. All right, let's see Shackley. Okay, this is a this is a combat that I'm not ready for. What ergonomic mouse did I get? It's the Logitech MX Master 3. It is a very comfortable scroll wheel. I recommend it. I used to use like an MMO mouse. I think I was using a Logitech G Pro. It was a fantastic mouse until I started getting the double click issue. Oh, wait a second. Nope. You know, let me think this through just a little bit more carefully. Adam, you're building the traps. I would much rather, <coughs> excuse me, soften these guys up before they get here. Hmm. You know what we're gonna do is leave this door open. I'm gonna get super ma micromanagey here. So we're leaving that door open, and I also, you know what, in fact, I want to leave this door open as well. Is that already happening? It does appear to be already happening, so I want to soften them. I want to especially get rid of this melee guy, because Bramble Officer is very, very powerful. Looks like Adam should have at least one of these, if not two of the spike traps ready by the time they get in here. Oh, uh, wait a minute, you dropped your weapon. Ooh. That's not good. Where is your weapon? Oh, I forgot the find my weapon mod, no. Oh, it's right behind you, okay, I, you have time to get it. Equip that. Should have time to still get in the maximum number of shots. I know this is a boring way to do Rimworld combat, but this is the way it's done without getting yourself killed, which is why I do it this way. Actually, you are still slightly slow, aren't you? Oh no. What is your speed? You're at only 51% of the moving speed. What are you at? Man, these were two quick successive fights. And these guys are going to start to take some battle scars too. All right, why don't you get there just to keep you in the like optimal position. You're finally armed. I want to have this guy retreating behind doorways though as they come. So let's have you there. I'm going to move Sheckley there so he hopefully can't be a victim of friendly fire. And then Adam's just going to be building spike traps in the background. So these guys are going to try to stall. Get a couple of pot shots in. Okay, that's one tag. Good. And he's shooting them from over there. All right. Uh, he is going to kind of be in his line of fire for a couple of seconds. Actually, does he have one shot lined up? Too late now. Let's run. Run back for it and go there. Get in another shot. So they're probably going to come in through that room. Ah, darn. Okay, they went around. Um, where is Adam? Adam's like, la, 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 la. Should have done that. Okay, uh, 
At least Adam will be taking the hits while they're doing the fighting. Hmm. There we go. Okay, honestly, them setting this thing on fire is not that bad. I would rather that they just stall stupidly. If they can take out this really good melee fighter, that'd be a huge dub. Take him down, take him down. Yes! Oh, okay, that was a very important kill. Um, all right, you're at least in a flak jacket. Clapped him. Ah, nice. He is in cover though. That was the one person I was really afraid of though. All right, let's get you in this doorway. Let's get you over here. And you just stay there and keep constructing. Ah, darn, he just got tagged. What was that? Uh, hopefully nothing bad. Uh, he got his right lung crushed by a bolt-action rifle. That's not great. Ah, uh, you should have been in this doorway. I don't know why I did that. Okay. Adam, keep constructing. He's kind of there for a worst-case scenario type of thing. I don't want these guys to take down all the solar panels. Good, they're kind of distracted by Adam. I don't care if Adam gets kind of injured because he's not really very useful in combat. Ah, this guy's got too much cover. Ah, they're totally setting fire to our fields. No. I should have done more traps in front of the base. Why are you still shooting the corpse of that man? <laughs> uh, attack him instead. Sounds like they're fleeing. Okay, everybody's undrafted. Is anybody in immediate danger? I admit that was not my best fight, but... Whatever. You aren't any good, are you? You are decent with medical and plants. Actually, you're not that bad. Fast. I don't really like sickly, awful immune system. No, I hate that. Yeah. Otherwise, everything else is great, so that was kind of unfortunate. All right, are you in any immediate danger? Well, we did it. A uh, um, fight that I was totally unprepared for. Death in 20 hours, that's okay. 22 hours, that's okay. The fire is more urgent. I think I'm just going to cue some, like, um, I'm going to leave these over here because they're not really in the way. They shouldn't path over them. This is fine. Uh, but yeah, we we are going to want to make some stone traps for the next time. Uh, yeah. Let's do this. Um, slate marble is more of a decorative stone, so let's do some slate traps. We'll put them, like, here. Because they're bound to get rushed over in this section. Do like that. And I think that. And that. And that. And then we'll do one here, one here, one here, and one here. Okay, that's pretty good because they can move those around and all you really need is a big group of them that you can just kind of move around. It's it's okay to have spike traps in your base. I really should have done these like three wide hallways, but I, I don't want to waste too much space either. Uh, okay, we got rain coming in as well. I think we can just speed up time here. Good. Okay, prioritize the fu- uh, Alright, I'm not going to micromanage it. Ah, he's on fire. You dingus, don't go on fire. Ooh, that was bad. Oh, wait a second. How hot is it? It's 480. How did it get that hot that fast? Really from one door? Okay. Alright, everybody out. Uh... <laughs> yeah, that was one stupid thing leading into another. It was okay, Adam, you're fine. You put out the fire. Uh, just everybody put it out and get out of that room. Everybody out of the super hot room. No more of this. I admit that was stupid of me, but I didn't expect it to get that hot that fast. Yeah, we accidentally made the incinerator. Whew. Okay, what what have we had? Do we have anything that we're... And we're about to break as well. 
Uh, I think you should move into the excellent bed, personally, but that's just my opinion. Who is the most badly injured? Death in 17 hours. Settings, self-tend. Let's just set everybody to self-tend, because they're all kind of screwed up right now. And I, I don't want to micromanage it. Okay, uh, interact, self-tend, uh, interact, self-tend, and where is Adam? Where is Adam? Oh, he's up there, okay. Deselect, undraft, already tending to Adam, okay, good. They survived! They survived! But I do find that blood and dust can be very much like this. It's it's as if I wish there were a difficulty between strive to survive and blood to blood and dust. Cuz it often just feels like it's a lot of blood, but I blood and dust is fine though. I think it's a, a worthy challenge. Hmm. Hey, holes holes hacker chip. Thank you very much for the sub. And L Jabbas and Tasty Baby. Thank you very much. Hmm. Other than this, I think my workshop is set up pretty well. I maybe should have done... Maybe I'll do defenses before I do workshops in the future, just because I feel as though that was a bit of a waste. Oh, good. You took the excellent bed, you excellent man. You amazing, amazing man. Yes, good job. Well done. Well done. Bravo, sir. Bravo. And gladly, this is no longer their rec room. Whoa, 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 what was that? Another zit. Jump two. That's ah, fine, it's just the entire kitchen. Unfortunately, Adam is still, like, up and at him. Oh, it doesn't get this hot this fast when the oven goes on fire? I wholeheartedly object to that. Adam, are you, you are not hot, are you in... You can... Honestly, like being in 475 degrees, 511 degrees, I take it back for all, it's only a couple of seconds. Yeah, you're fine. Stop complaining. You're just being basically cooked for a couple minutes. Get out of there. Don't tend yourself in there, man. All right, now this is just annoying common sense stuff. Get out of there, man. You're in the airlocked room that is literally an oven right now. Okay. Undraft. Undraft. Spend some time outside, my guy. Spend some time outside. Like, that was kind of a slap in the face after that. If I get horrible luck, maybe I'll go back to strive to survive. Only because then I find it tends to be everybody sleeping in bed and not really getting anything done. In fact, I'm doing that right now because I, I'm calling BS on those storyteller events. Three rats followed by two raids and then a, like an explode, like a critical explosion is a bit annoying. Okay, now you need to be rescued. I need to be rescued. Rescue him. Save him. <laughs> it's so funny when a pawn gets downed in this game and they're just sideways and helpless. Uh, but no infections, you know? That much is good. And we have plenty of good medicine in case if we need it. Ah, okay, there goes the smoke leaf. Yep. At least we have those to get us through this. I'd rather have that than them getting a mood break. In fact, Sheckley? Uh, Sheckley, did you just get one? You know what, Sheckley, better go take one of those smoke leaf joints. I believe Adam just got one, so he's fine. Yeah, he just had another one. Stressed, stressed. Man, right when I didn't have the bedrooms ready either. Is he in the darkness as well? Oh, no, he's fine. Well, meant for these to be prisoner uh, bedrooms, so let's go ahead and make this for prisoners. And I'm actually going to do it with this one as well. Paid heat wave. Uh, no thanks, I'm actually totally not insulated to temperature right now, so that's not a very good idea. Uh, let's also just delete this. 
good. And... Yeah, they're fine. You know what? Let's just take prioritization off of these rooms, too. Take care of your own colonists before you take care of your prisoners. You know what I mean? I mean, maybe that's not, like, you know, Geneva, but at the same time... Like, this isn't Geneva. This is just RimWorld. Let's make sure that these things didn't get disconnected, either. Uh, no, they do appear to be connected. They do appear to be connected. I guess we're just starting to use up more and more electricity. Come, what? Yes, come, wife. Let us defend the rich. Unfortunately, we don't have any rich people in this colony, so who will we defend? You know, these are the these are the questions nobody's asking. I still miss when raiders could be driven crazy by corpses. Like if they had to come through a corpse room or something like that. Though I guess that was a bit too much of an overpowered strategy in this game. That it led to some questioning. Because I remember like old RimWorld posts. The one that I hope that they undo is the muffalo. Uh, the ability to milk and shear muffalo. Because that was that was like, mwah, that was so perfect. It was the only useful animal. Other than cows. Cows are actually quite good. I would normally take this, but right now I can't because of people just being covered in doo-doo. Alright, let's see if they have any permanent physical injuries. This is something that is... Like, kind of hidden from a lot of people when they play the game, is that they aren't... Now, what is this bad back causing for you? Moving minus 30, pin ah, gosh, that really is kind of messing with him. Otherwise, he's a fantastic colonist, though. I don't remember when he had that. I feel like we didn't start off with him with that. What about you? You're at... Oh, I so say you're fine. Pigs have joined, okay. Dinner has joined. Dinner has entered the chat. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yep, this menu is very, very well done. I'll say that. There have been a couple of menus I've had gripes with. Uh, the animals one. Perfect. Mathematically, chickens give the most meat nutrition. Really? So chickens are better? Huh. I think we had tried to raise turkeys and that didn't work out. Yeah, chickens and cows are the two animals that are worth domesticating. I except for, like, you know, home defense, I suppose. <laughs> In which case, uh, it's already got a sleeping spot, too. I don't really want to, but I should. I should take their lives. I should. I owe it to myself. Corpse walls. Yeah, like, what if they just got a little shiver run up their spine from seeing this, you know? We should also probably do a rotten animal stockpile zone, just because otherwise they get tons of crap like this. Um... Architect, zone, dumping zone. Yeah, we'll do a rotten animals. Unless, it, is that already this? Storage. No, this is for rotten apparel. It's for rotten, this is for human corpses, this is for... God, I'm like, it sounds so messed up what I say in any other context. Corpses. Animal corpses. We gotta expand this menu. Just rotten animal corpses. All, and no fresh, just rotten. There we go. Priority preferred. There we go. I do think that they get assigned some type of, like, urgent parameter if it says important. I'm not quite sure how that works, but it always just seems to me as if they are working faster on things like that. Okay, I suppose that the only other thing we could really do here would be, like, a hospital bed. And since they are starting to spend more time out here, let's go ahead and just quickly build another wall around these corpses. This is going to be my kind of... Like, we could get a... There are arguments for and against this. We could do a whole... Uh, what do they call them? Crema crematorium? We could do like a crematorium for corpses. But this is faster if you have a lot of them you have to go through. is just throw Molotovs at it. Okay, good. We're onto this. So now we at least have some line of defense in case if, you know, stuff really hits the fan. 
Oh, this is interesting. We're getting somehow both of these in here. How is this working? Wait, this is the important zone. I didn't know that we could put these two types of corpses together. What a marvelous discovery. Wow. Think of the advances that will be made in human technology. Thank God. Thank God. Yeah, we just want to prevent them from seeing those corpses as much as we can. Oh, and then we also want to set this as a no roof zone. Roofless zone. There we go. Hmm. Use my kitchen as it's hot enough. Is it still? Nope, it's only 69 degrees in the kitchen. Just the way I like it. Honestly, that's a bit cool, though. What is your ideal temperature? Ah, uh, eclipse. We should probably rely on something other than only the sun, too. Like, the geothermal generator we might be able to work into a kill box, but that's going to give enemies a lot of cover, and we'll have to be like, darn it, we need to rebuild it all the time. So that could be problematic. Build a copy of this over here. They need a lot of light to research in their comfy, cushy chairs. And are we growing cotton? We are, in fact, not growing cotton. Shame on me. Why didn't I see that? And we're at 85% grown with the heel root. I suppose... Let's wait for a little bit longer here, and let's also allow... Hmm. Did we have more steel appear here? Oh, or is this a cave-in? In which case, let's go ahead and do a column, which I believe is under structures. Yes, indeed it is. Slate columns. How about, like, right there? That's good. And then we'll do interact store uh, storage. And we also want to have manufactured... Oh, we do have herbal medicine here. Okay, good. So that's fine. We just don't have any of it in our inventories. Good, we've taken out the pigs who were bad. Um, let's go ahead and check on soil fertility. Yeah, just as I suspected. It is very bad. I want to have some cotton because it's useful as you go on, but I'm not really super urgent with it, but it does take forever to grow it, so I want it to be on fertile soil. Eh. Uh, in like two minutes, we'll do it. Rescuing De Devlin. Hmm. Oh no, this is Shield's lover. She's a 69 year old policewoman. How is that randomly generated? 69 year old policewoman? This is no joke. Older women that he's loving. Unarmed guard. Okay, I might have to spring for this. Hang on a moment. <laughs> mm. Paid heat wave. No royal ascent. Rescuing Devlin. Jump to. Jump to prisoner camp. Let's find out. Who is this 69-year-old policewoman? Uh, uh, I want to. But I'm not going to. I want, you know I want to save her, but I won't. I won't. Trophy earned the IEE Nikola Tesla Award. I would open up my PlayStation menus, but I'm afraid of two things. One, that I'll somehow dox myself. I tried to prevent that. Um, but two, uh, and more importantly, I think that... Uh, I think that it might crash the entire stream if I open up the PlayStation menus. So I'm not going to do it uh, on account of those two reasons. I guess we'll leave that animal spot there, just in case if we find ourselves with a... Eh, you know what? No, screw these animals. Okay. Me thinks... Weapons... We don't want raiders to just come in and take our weapons. So let's put the weapon stockpile zone somewhere very far in the back. Um, I think we'll probably end up putting it... We could, like, refrigerate the weapons. 
or freeze them only because I don't want certain things to get to them. But what I would like to do would be this. Let's do a double wooden doorway and then let's do architect and we'll just do pure zone right here. And we'll do stockpile. This is how you do it. We like kind of whittle away one item from each area until we have all the weapons in here and now we have less and less stuff in this area. See what I'm doing? Um, hmm. So that'll take care of all the weapons. Bolt action rifle. I guess the only things that we still have left are medicines. Medicines? I would like to have them in one main stockpile room. So I'm going to go ahead and put... You know, let's put it medicine in here as well. Wood and medicine. It's, it's kind of a strange combo of things, but okay. Yeah, where will we put the ketchup? I mean, we'll have to refrigerate the ketchup after opening it. I believe that there is a mod that adds ketchup into the game, right? Put Glitter World Medicine and regular medicine in here, but then we'll put an important spot for medicine in here as well. So let's say, uh, is there anything left in here? It's the only other thing is like, uh, other types of drugs, like the wake up. Uh, what is happening? Ah, disease plague. Who? Who could have a plague? Ah, no. No. Okay. Well, here's where I'm going to break out the good stuff. Uh, best quality medicine. And who else has the plague? I just want them to get better from this really fast. Oh, joyous day, oh, wise amphibian supreme. I can finally put down my Mentos. <laughs> I, re I recall this now. How you said that you were going to subsist only on Mentos. <laughs> hey, Mike Night Taco holdout. Thank you very much for the 500 bits. And yeah, don't please don't actually go on a hunger strike of eating only mint Mentos between when I am streaming. That is disturbing. You uh, well, yeah, well, add ketchup into your diet. Why don't that's there's an idea. At the very least, have some ketchup. Of course, I'm being facetious. Um, <laughs> uh, so funny. <laughs> no, thank you very much. So very, uh, bought RimWorld. Hey, you checked out RimWorld. I wonder if there's any, is anybody in chat, tr is anybody like just trying out RimWorld for the first time on console? Kind of curious if that's a thing. And let's also do, I'm going to go ahead and just start to deconstruct these other conduits. Architect. Uh... Unfortunately, we can't get to this spot, can we? It's a little annoying how you can't get into the corner walls. Like, I sort of can, but I... Yeah, we'll just leave it as it is. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Alright. We have the spike traps I wanted. The spike traps I deserved. Alright, now we're harvesting those hops. Are we at, we're at 98% grown on the heel road, too. So I'm going to go ahead and just... Uh, shrink down this zone a little bit not like completely because after one or so harvests of heel root hopefully you won't need too much of it so let's go ahead and do cotton Stock uh whoops not stockpile zone grow zone i'm finding it surprisingly easy to look at how different and weird all of my grow zones are but like, this is the type of thing that I thought would be hard to do on console, and it is absolutely not. In fact, it's the opposite. It's very satisfying still. And I've been thinking like I've been thinking when I play RimWorld. Is it 35 or 40? What is the normal price of RimWorld on Steam? It's one of those things that I forget, because I remember that I did pay, pay uh, full price for it when, it when I first got it. But, um, what is it like? I mean, I think I've got 600 hours in it. If you divide the dollar cost by... That's how I would try to figure if a game had, like, a good value before. Like, how many hours divided by the number of dollars that I played. It's, it's a very good ratio, is all I'll say. Ooh, free uranium. I'll take that. That's good. All right, is this by the... No, this is sort of by the bugs, but... Oh well, so be it. I'll take some bugs. 
All right, I, I feel defended, though, in case if anything else sneaks up on us. Are we actually addressing this plague as well? Um, bad back. Oh, whoops, you're not the one I'm worried about. Where are the ones I'm worried about? Here are you guys. You have the plague. Okay, give me information on your plague. Uh, you're at immunity 44%. Oh, wow. 10 quality 44%. Plague minor 33. If the ten or if the immunity is higher than the, or, I mean, really, if it's going up at a higher rate, but yeah, I kind of have to micromanage this here. Okay, looks like we've all got decent tens. I know I've set everybody to self tend, but I think that's fine. Just less like movement. They still get the experience too. Hmm. Would I like to choose what biome your crash landed Randy Random colony starts in? First off, I would probably not play with Randy, but good luck. How about Boreal? I was like Boreal, but I I couldn't find a nice Boreal biome I wanted to do here. <laughs> Are you new to the game? If so, then I would do Permanent Summer, just because it's a little bit easier. I opted for Seasons in here. Hmm. Yeah, Boreal is quite nice. I don't know, I just like the look of the terrain in it. Alright, how are we doing, gentlemen? Now, this is another reason that I prefer not to play on too hard a difficulty, or if it is, I'll stop it just because people randomly get plagues and they're doing nothing for months on end, so it just gets kind of boring. But what are you doing? Let's kind of micromanage this guy a bit. Playing chess alone. Sewing an area. Okay, at least we're getting this stuff done. He's super duper fast. And how is our food situation? Do we have... We definitely have the meats. Like, we could turn into this entire place into an Arby's. <laughs> uh, I don't think we will for now. Uh, anyway, let me start to architect out a little bit more of this place while we have some time. Food binge on Sheckley. Oh, wait, he's one of the guys with the plague. Oh, no, I should have just given a smoke leaf joint. How is your immunity, or are we going to have to punch him down? <laughs> Sometimes I will do this. <laughs> He's got 87% immunity to... Okay, so there's, like, no contest. It's actually fine for him to just go on a food binge right now. I'm just not going to interrupt him. You're doing fine. You know, are you assigned to constructing? Oh, I don't want to mess with everything. Let's just let them be stupid for a little while. These weapons should be gone, the building. I'm just gonna make one stockpile zone for everything that's very low priority so I can see what there is left. Uh, and I will put it... How about like here, between the workshop and some of the other stuff? So let's do this. Yeah, we'll just call this area. And also, too, this gives them some places to kind of dive in and out of. Um, I always seem to get drop potted in on. So, sorry, this music is seemingly grating right now. I always seem to get drop potted in on. So it's good to just keep a couple areas of your base where you can, like, jump in and out of, like, an Old West movie. I, I think Rimworld is inspired by Old West movies in a way, too, so... That's not totally off, right? <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to make this low. So this is just kind of like a one-size-fits-all sort of area. And let's just delete this entire stockpile zone now. Okay, we've just taken our reliance off of that. Ah, doesn't that feel nice? It feels nice to me, anyway. How do I have shelves uh, on with cloth on them or for tailoring? I changed the uh, stockpile setting zones for these things. So I go to storage, manufactured textiles. I just turned it off of automatic um uh, what you call it. Always good to catch in double A stream. Yeah, thanks for coming out. Happy Pekin. Thank you very much for the sub. Hmm. These things have places to which they are going. Okay, ideally we'll make this room a little bit better suited. 300 hours. You still will keep learning stuff. For 300, after 300 hours. I swear to God, like, it seems like you can just keep getting better at it. But I think I've mastered the base game now. Hmm. 
Roof. Tell me of the roofs. Nice. We have a good amount of... Uh, this is regular roof here, actually. Well, fortunately, we don't have any over overhead mountain. Let's go ahead and do this. I just want to make a lot of room because it's going to be my infirmary. The infirmary is a room where it's very important to just prevent people from going crazy in it. Nice to get to watch it live. Yeah, happy to, uh, happy, I, I don't know, I, I enjoy the interaction on it. I always kind of worry that these VODs will feel unwatchable if it's, like, too much interaction, I suppose. Which is why I don't make it, like, as, I'm not really a just chatting sort of streamer, like, I don't know, streaming, I was never naturally very good at streaming, I suppose that is to say. I never, my father never hugged me, you know, that's part of the reason, like Squidward, just like Squidward, but, um, I don't know, I've just kind of enjoyed it more over the last couple of years, I don't know where I'm trying to go with this. Yeah. It's weird to me that I started liking something that I wasn't good at to begin with, you know what I mean? People, yes, people do have fathers, in fact. <laughs> Ah, uh, uh, major break risk on whom? On whom? Jump two. Okay, that is a nice way to jump two. Why are you stressed? Probably because of all the dead bodies you're seeing. Unsightly environment, slept in the heat. It's a hideous environment. And s yeah, observe rotting corpse. This is the reason why we're trying to do what we're doing right now. And I'm actually going to add in... Uh, hang on a second. Let's add in the animal corpses because I didn't know that you could do this. Uh, fresh corpses. Well, we also want that one to be animal corpses, too, so... Eh, let's just keep them separate. Why is there jade over here? I did something wrong. Just take everything out of that stockpile zone. I instantly regret all of that. I don't know why they did that. Your father never hugged Squidward. <laughs> uh... We, how long are we going to stay in this territory? I, I do like this territory. Yeah, Bob Ross was right. Sorry, that, I'm just not going to give any context to that. <laughs> Bob Ross was right. All right, let's go ahead and make this room nice. And we'll also get some art sculpting ready. Uh, there's not really that much back and forth in preparing the art. But we could put it right about here. Let's go into production. And really, none of my colonists are very good artists either. So this is a bit ahead of the curve for me to do this. Don't believe it really makes a difference what material you make this out of. But we don't want the entire room to burn either. Uh, we can't make it out of slate. Okay, I'll go with wood. I don't really want a uranium table. That seems like it could have some after effects. Um... You know, they don't really have a source of stone chunks now either. Okay, we are being raided again. Oh, uh, uh, da, 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 da. What do you have? Pump shotgun. Okay, so pump shotgun. Uh, this is really the main dangerous one. Alcohol addiction. They just sent over an alcoholic with a shotgun to my base. Um, you're not good at this, though. See, like, I feel as though I wish that these raids were slightly tougher, but you're actually quite good in melee. You are someone to fear. And you are also quite good in melee. Hmm. Needs, character. What else do you have? Stats. You are creepy, breathing, underground, or ascetic. And you are... A bra okay, we have a... This guy is very much Lily. 16-year-old brawler. It's like an angry 16-year-old girl. Oh, what? <laughs> he just totally went in. Oh, I love that. <laughs> uh, we don't need to be afraid. I'm just going to stand somebody outside of there. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. Why don't you just stand over here? <laughs> uh, I, love, I love using insects against other people. Stand both of you there. Actually, just draft everybody in case. I don't want anything stupid to happen. What is going on in here? 
Okay, th I want to see that, but I should probably be more concerned with my actual colonists right now. Okay, they've decided to take what they can and leave. <laughs> uh, isn't that nice? <laughs> isn't it so nice of them to do that? Uh, this one's in poor quality. This one's in normal quality. Hey, Stovetop, thank you very much for coming out. You know what? This should be interesting. Oh no, they took some of my uranium! Oh, bastards. Come back with my uranium. I knew I shouldn't have left that uranium there. It's fine. Oh, I got another trophy. Hey, hell yeah. Wait a second, are you still in that cave? Nope, didn't make it out of the cave and left some booze. So far these bugs have broken even several times. It's kind of funny. Oh, you're still alive. I don't think you were very useful, but... Yeah, they didn't take the jade. Uh, if you had to choose between uranium and jade... Uh, do I want to use this for my nuclear experimentation? Underground or creepy... The creepy breathing is annoying and the undergrounder is annoying as well. You do have intellectual, so you could spend a lot of time at a research table and then come out, but the one reason why I don't like undergrounder is because... Look, he's a good combatant, but what, he's going to need to stay underground during a fight because they always get mood breaks at the m least convenient of moments. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to be really picky and say no. All right, here's where we can start doing the medical beds. Administer the medicine. I think we got the art table in there. Good. Uh, let's give that a bill. Add a bill. Um, I'm a fan of the large sculpture. Good bang for the buck. Let's make like eight of them. And we could just use them all around the base, sort of. But just, you know, we have time. Uh, wooden sculptures are not so bad. I think the only material that we don't want it to be made of is steel. So let's just make sure it's not using that. Stone blocks, uranium, not uranium, probably, yeah. Wooden is okay in stone, wood or stone. Allowed skill, it's fine, they gotta grind on this anyway. 2x times, ingredient radius unlimited, work to make 500. Yeah, that's fine. So what have we done so far? We did try scaling things up to blood and dust. I don't know if I'm perfectly ready for it yet. Maybe I'll wait a little bit more until I've got... Like, my base under control, everything perfectly set up. Just because it started killing my colonists immediately. Uh, advanced technology we haven't really got, but we did get the area in where they can research it, so that's good news. I guess I will prioritize orders on that again. Let's go ahead and allow it. Uh, what did we want to do? Okay, so now we could get a multi-analyzer because we've got the advanced research bench as well. So that's okay. Keep undergrounder out of general fights. He's exclusively for infestations. You know, if I had like two more colonists who could fight, I would do it right now. But I don't want to start getting really specialized people like that. Only because it's going to come back and bite me in the butt. Uh, Forrest Gump style. Yeah. Let's go with this. I'm just trying to, since I don't have the replace everything mod, I just don't want to cave in. Nor do I want to take down the whole roof, so I'll just do it this way. Okay. Build another copy. Let's just build that here, because I don't think we're ever going to get the fire spread. I mean, wouldn't that be a funny happenstance if it... <laughs> um, if the fire were to spread from over there. Let's open up this area a bit, too. There we go. We could start to combine those corpses as well. And I think they'll be taking that silver from there. Good, so this is just kind of a various crap area. I guess we should have the psychoid leaves in here as well. Though it's always good to keep some psychoid, psychoid leaves in the workshop. God, try sending psychoid leaves five times fast. Where's plant matter? Psychoid leaves can go in here as well. Transport pod crash from a guy named Table. What is this, like a boy named Sue? Johnny Cash. Paralytic Abasia.
Okay. Is this the type of guy we could learn more about? Otherwise, I don't really want to sign up for Paralytic Abasia. He ate without a table. Does it say how long it will be? Usually it's like six months, and then they send you worse events. Oh, wait, there he is. Can we learn about table? Okay, here we go. Table. Hello, table. Oh, table is quite good at, uh, right off the bat. Misogynist and teetotaler. I don't like teetotaler that much. Or is it teetotaler? Teetotaler. I can never say it right. Because nobody says that. They just say, I'm I'm in AA, you know? Incapabilities, plant work. Okay, that doesn't really matter. The, really, the double crafting is fantastic. You can always take one or two of these. And we don't have any women... We could always get rid of him if we decide to have other women in the colony. How long is this paralytic abasia going to last? 31 days? I'm actually going to take this guy. I'll take him. Normally I wouldn't, but I feel a little bit like we haven't progressed that much, so. Let's have Table. He also has a very funny name. We could be the pirates who don't do anything. Like VeggieTales style. Transport pod. Wait, another one. Sheckley's ex-lover. Well, if she turns out to be better, then screw table. Ex-lover. Maybe they'll get back together like in Friends with Ross and Rachel. She is quite good in general. Miss And... Uh, I could take the one misogynist because we have mostly, you know... I'm not saying that this is how we should behave. I'm saying that this is how... Well, we're going to have to make it work. Neurotic and wimp, though. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. No, uh, well, let's leave her there. So sorry. I don't think he'll be upset if it's his ex-lover, right? Does he? Are we eventually going to turn into one of those colonies where everyone's wearing a cowboy hat made of human leather? I, I mean, I've already been there. I've done that so many times before. I just feel like it's... It, it makes me cringe when I when I do it. You know, other people can do their colonies. You're just discovering RimWorld. Go ahead, give it a try, and then, and then stop. So this seems like a decent size for an infirmary. I've never walked into an infirmary and had precisely those thoughts, but now is the time that I'm having them. Right. Mm, table. We've already taken care of table. Get rid of tape. Or t stop telling me about table. Lucky chance of a quick recovery, possibly. Okay, and the Mad Muffalo is still far off away enough for us to not be completely afraid of him. You get ready and go over here. I just want to make sure that these two are combat ready. Whoa, that Muffalo is moving at light speed. Uh, maybe we can run him into a trap. Sheckley, you go over there. We really shouldn't go here. We really shouldn't lose this fight. Oh, he might ninja his way through the traps! No, he is! How could he do that? Dang it. <sighs> ah, crap. Wait a minute. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to pause... This is bad. He was already hurt pretty bad. Okay, I'm just going to have you stand back there. Mad Muffalo is not really that funny. Run. 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 Just run. I know there's not much hope for him. He's still completely... Okay, now he has been injured. He got downed. He got downed. Okay, this is amateur hour now. Come on, just please run him into two of these traps. Unless he dodges around them like the Matrix. Okay, he's fine. Oops. There we go. Undraft. Pick him up. Rescue him. All right. All right. Good job. Good job, everybody. Where is Table? Wasn't somebody going out to get Table? Oh, did we lose Table? Is he dead now? 
Where is he? Oh, we needed to accept him. Darn, wait a minute. Did I lose table because of that? Oh, wait, no, there he is. Where is he? This is the issue where I c it's hard to find the snap, too. Um, it, there is a snap, too, somewhere in this menu. Oh, there he is. Okay, he's in our infirmary, which isn't really an infirmary yet. But it's at least something. Clean the dirt and make the infirmary an infirmary. You, sh you ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Hey, so let me turn back on the music. Here we go. I had a track that I didn't have such a good relationship with. Is he at least being... It doesn't really matter. He's going to be very low maintenance for a while. In fact, you know, it doesn't really even matter if we clean around him because he can't even walk. I would be happy if he got up and started breaking things because really he's not going to... I mean, like, it's not nice to uh, have a... Put a Man who's essentially paralyzed for 30 days um, in terrible surroundings, but he can't do anything in vengeance, which that's what RimWorld is mostly about, is the vengeance of several men without arms and legs. Or at least that's how they're being animated. It's a, it's a piece of performance art, RimWorld, really. That's all it ever was. Ah... <laughs> uh. Unless if it were Torsolo, of course, in which case he could pick the lock and probably escape very fast. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but th there's always those exceptions. Always those exceptions. Yeah, you know, I think that would be a very nice thing. If they just added double-clicking on a portrait to center on the colonist, that would make it so much easier. Um, that's one thing I've been waiting for. Or that's my requested feature. All these seem like fairly easy things to add into the game, though, so I don't imagine it will be hard for that to happen. Yes, re just resting in this blood and gravel room. <laughs> don't mind me. Eventually we'll want to smooth that out and stuff like that. And I feel as though, do we have any more room under mountain? Yes, we do have room under the mountain. Ah, uh, here it comes again with under the mountain. I'm not lending my colonists to you. So sorry. All right, there we go. We just want to max out that storage space. Okay, who has tattered apparel now? Table has tattered apparel. It's completely fine to do that. But if we strip him, he'll just be nude, and he needs to put on the clothing of his own accord. He can't have someone else put on his pants. That wouldn't be appropriate. There must be a mod for that. There must be a mod for that. Did you just say remember the game? Are you playing that game where any time that you remember that you're playing the game, you lose the game, and so then your friends just walk up to you and be like, I lost the game, because I was remembering. Did you ever have this? It was kind of like a stupid. <laughs> it's, it's sort of funny. It, it gets old very fast, though. Did anyone else ever play that game before? If you have no idea what I'm talking about, then you just... Okay, I just made you all lose the game. Yeah, good job. <laughs> uh, I haven't heard about that in years. Here we go. Actually, let's just leave that up until we get this other stuff done. Triple time. Triple time. Man, everyone's coming out really upset. So sorry about that. So sorry about that. Yeah, it's been <laughs> 10 years. I'd been winning the game for 10 years until you told me about it. All right, other things we want to do is, like, keep... We're going to make the infirmary be a very nice place, and we're being raided by the... This is actually a decent pace for this. Ah, tribals! Ah, oh, I love fighting tribals. Though they may just walk themselves into the traps. All right, nobody's about to explode, so let's just put you both out there. And are you armed? You are not armed, in fact. Grab your weapon before we go. Is this one in good condition? Some of the things like mousing over items, too. I feel like they could add it. Oh, no, actually, you can. Uh, I instantly take that back. I just found where it was on the screen. Sheckley has been standing strong for the whole time, though. Man, he's good. 
So you're about to arm yourself and let's pause. I'm finding that it's very convenient and easy to pause and unpause fast, which I find is something I have to do a lot of in this game. So yeah, 10 out of 10 there. Am I gonna use Adam as a meat shield here? Ooh, am I? And also, are any of these guys incredibly talented in melee? Nope. I don't even really need to see the brawler. I don't feel like that's gonna make a difference. Nope, and you don't have a bow, do you? Oh, the other guy also seems to have gone for the, yes, he did. That's like whittling away a little bit off of each of these raids. That's very nice. You should run into the spike trap in theory. You just dodged this, why? Okay, stand immediately in the middle of these things. I don't trust, what the hell? What the hell? What the actual hell? Come on, dude. These things are supposed to be invisible to you. He's still resisting. How? How could this happen? No! Oh. That was so stupid. All right. He will get a robot hand. He just lost his pinky and middle finger on his right hand, I uh, know. I mean, really not, like, I, you could still do it with the other three fingers. You could still fire a weapon, you could still sort of grip it, but that is gonna kind of mess up his manipulation. I don't think that's gonna mess with his shooting too much because that's more a sight thing, but, like, really, he just dodged past six traps because of subtle AI pathing. He didn't even lose either of his fingers. I mean, there were at least two. There must have been. Oh. I do feel kind of bad now. Sheckley, he's the royal. Well, I mean, you know what? You're going to get a nice robot hand. That's what we're going to do for you. After your trip to the doctor, we're going to go. You're going to get some candy and a nice robot hand. You'd love it. <sighs> Darn it. You know, I should really double layer these things in areas where I think that they'll come through. Like, definitely, for sure. But that guy just dodged past them. Whatever. Whatever. He has eight more, it's fine. That's, you know, good attitude. That's the kind of attitude we need around here for this game. Yeah, maybe he'll be like Eight Fingers McGraw or something like that, you know? Or some tough-sounding name like that. I'm Eight Fingers McGraw. Bet you can't guess how many fingers I got. Alright. Uh, I just like deconstructing this way. I don't know, there's something fun about playing a strategy game with a controller again. It really brings me back to being... I think when I was 16, I played a crap load of Halo Wars. Halo Wars was very fun. <laughs> I, I know that the controls were very weird and wonky, but for porting an RTS to consoles, it actually did quite well. Oh, yes, we're having an eight fingers party. There we go, good job, good job. Okay, uh, I don't want to interrupt this party, but he already seems to have done it to himself. Okay, good, yep, you deserve that, eight fingers McGraw. I think I will clean with you, though. Clean the dirt before we have the party. Party's over. Oh, crap. Now, how did the party... I don't think that the party can be bad. Did they get lousy party mood debuff? Does that exist even? <laughs> Does that exist? Needs. Attended party, positive. Okay, we can't get, like, bad party kind of garbage going on. Right, at the very least, we have that. Whose bed is this? Okay, so this is Adam's room. At this point, I'm just going to build in walls. I don't care for that much uranium. You know, if we need the extra uranium, we'll open back up his bedroom and we'll get it out later. I can't see... I just can't see myself having use for this much uranium, though. <laughs> There's only so much uranium that you need in your life. Hmm. 
I'm thinking let's put this in another part of the infirmary, only because we always need tons of light in the infirmer infirmary. Build a copy of this over here. And do that. Bad, yeah, bad party out. Whatever it is. The one thing I was sad about to not have ideology, I, I'm going to go ahead and just say straight up, I'm not a huge ideology user. I think it sometimes add things, adds things that make the game harder. If you play it right, then it can be a lot of fun. And I certainly enjoyed it for a change of pace. Um, but I do like the quests and the events on it. I think Ideology added on a lot of really nice quests and uh, just stuff like that. Um, and if you like it, you know, don't let me change your mind. Um, I just like the base game so much that I, I feel like it's just kind of more mods. I prefer mods to the DLC, to be honest. But there are also some quality of life things like the animals that it added in. Or was that just in the RimWorld 1.3 release? I can't remember. In which case, when are we going to get a RimWorld 2.0? Can you imagine if they made this game run a little bit better too? Like if they came back, made a RimWorld 2, and then gave it like the level of coding that Factorio has. That would be sick. I could have thousand man colonies. I would really want to do that. I would totally go back to do that in a heartbeat. Because remember how badly optimized the thousand person colony eventually unfortunately became although i may be able to go back and do it um because they optimized the game slightly more yes hauling the muffalo and i can hardly see the pawn underneath it uh moments like that just give me great satisfaction the rumor is that multiplayer is the next deal i don't i have no i know nothing of it i i like how they will surprise us like a week before the new DLC or whatever is the new thing. Like before ideology, I believe it was one week, which is kind of good because you don't want to let hype kill it. You know, hype can be, hype can be a, a very bad thing. I'll say that too much of it. Muffalo wool bowler hat tainted has rotted away in storage. That's actually our goal. So that was good. We have another bowler hatted gentleman there. Good. Nice bowler hat, man. Still removed roof area there. Okay, liking this. Hmm. You are stressed. Are you fed though? Are you fed? They are feeding him. That's really all they need to do. It doesn't matter if he's upset because he can't. I mean, this would sound wrong in other contexts. But yeah, that's basically that's basically our story for right now. It doesn't matter because he can't take vengeance upon us. Yeah, and that's the way it's going to be. All right, now I want you to actually clean. Who is the one that... Sheckley, yeah, he's the one. I want him to haul and clean before he does the other stuff. We have reached a time in the base when everything is covered in blood. And if I don't make some changes now, there will be a lot more blood soon. I can guarantee you that. But strangely, we haven't really kept pace with our, um, with our meals. We haven't starved, certainly. And, you know, the, the kitchen is fairly, whoops, clean. I insist that the kitchen be clean anyway. But I need to observe them for a little while. Okay, good. Sheckley is starting to do a lot of hauling now. This is how you can tell that pawns are ready for the next thing, is when they start doing hauling, and then you'll see the repairing, and then you'll see the cleaning, and then you see the... And then you know that once they're at cleaning, your colony is all but ready for the next phase of development. Actually, is this room even going to be necessary? I challenge you, chat. Tell me what this room would be used for. If I were to make this back into a room for something, I have my infirmary right here. Do I just expand the infirmary and make it bigger? I mean, I could make it into some sort of other type of armory, but I kind of prefer having that farther back into the base. If I could describe RimWorld in three words, what would they be? One of them would be chaotic. Another one would be system. And another one would be Tynan. Chaotic Tynan system. Hmm. 
pay to lose. Kill zone room. I could do that. Uh, we could do some sort of like backup room. Or, or mind you, what could happen is that we have like some sort of spike trap hallway. I was originally thinking of just doing like a large no man's land out here. But that could work. Like a kill room? I haven't done one of those in a while. I'm trying to think of why I objected to those. And it wasn't on like humanitarian grounds. It was just because it wasn't working for me. I'm trying to remember what it was. Let's test it out and see how it does. Yep, I'm up for it. All right, let's have the kill room. Uh, you know what it was? Is because sometimes there are enemies who just kind of need to be taken out from a distance. Like people who explode. You know, not popular that people should make themselves explode when they die, but it happens occasionally. There are crazy people out there. So that was my, that was my fear. So what I'm thinking is, let's prevent people from coming in this way, because a lot of people were hacking the system, is how I would describe it. And let's also, too, get rid of this door, and we'll just have a, an infirmary door over here. Or we could make this out of something other than wood, potentially. But the point is that maybe we funnel them into some sort of hallway right here. Where they go like, noom. And then they go, noom. And then this is a something that's happening. Okay, now we're starting to get an idea. An idea. I have an idea. Whoops, I didn't mean to fill in that space. Cancel that. All right, so now if we move this over here. I need you lower. I know the volume is already low, but sometimes it gets loud. Hmm, we have reached an impasse. Two, four, six. No, I didn't do it right. Oh, well, that's fine. Reinstall that there. Okay. Reinstall that there. Okay, at least this is some form. You need all kinds of sketchy forms of defense here. Whoops. Uh, install that. Do it like there. Eventually, I'll get this to work. But at least we have some area where we kind of hide in. Then we can run back into the infirmary and close the door behind us. Let's just set that to always be held closed for now. From now on. Um... And at least we shoot them, and then enemies kind of run down here, do 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 do, and then, yeah, I think you see where I'm going with this. Build copy there, and let's get some light on in here as well. For some reason, I can't remember why I don't like to have roofs on top of these things. Like there are just certain things that give me pet peeves now, and I'm like, I don't remember why I'm not gonna allow this in my colony, but I'm not going to because something horrible will happen. I'm not sure infirmary right next to the kill box is a great idea, so I'll try to move the beds deeper into the infirmary. Doesn't that sound like a smart idea? Hey, bitter herple, bitter please, bitter please, or bitter please, thank you very much. <sighs> the Sims with guns. Yeah, I guess now that I've done so much Sims content, I can, uh... We, we can call it like it is. There's a lot of people who like The Sims who like RimWorld too. to be fair. Ah, oh, here we go. Ah, oh, hang on a second. Hey, Whisperfire, how you doing? Good to see you, good to see you! So they run through their Phoenix, but have you checked out console RimWorld? It's a banger, it seems like. Hmm? Oh, wait, a gift? I didn't even realize that we had visitors. Ah, free silver. That's very nice of them. We didn't even do anything. She's just visiting. Sure she is. Sure she is. Alright, uh... Honestly, the slate looks kind of cool. You know, slate isn't really... Ooh, we're over the spike trap. Didn't realize I would have a moment where he was over that thing. Yeah, colonists will always prioritize not standing right on top of a spike trap. Oh, you know what I'm realizing we're missing too now is the hammer icon. 
Like where you can set colonists to rebuild things automatically in the base. I don't see that, but it seems like a pretty quick menu option that they would be able to add in if they decide to see that. Unless if it's just somewhere. I haven't actively looked for it, though. Maybe I'm missing it, and it is somewhere. Because there are a couple of other features like that that I've missed. This guy is miserable. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Too bad console players. I think I well they'll have like ninety percent of the base game. Ninety-five percent. But yeah, I was pleased when I did read from some people who were actually like, yep, I've been avoiding getting a PC just because and it, it was for reasons that I hadn't really accounted for, like space in a household, you know? I don't know everybody's life situations, but... Well, uh, RimWorld is not, like, the most popular game ever made. It's certainly not unpopular, but... It's, like, slightly more obscure, I guess? It attracts people to it anyway. Okay, um, let's get the hops out of here as well. Storage. Um... I believe that's under raw resources. Plant matter, yep, hops too. And the smoke leaf leaves, actually, yeah, we could put those into the uh, fridge too, though I don't believe that we're planting any smoke leaf. This is nice to see, though, that we're getting a, a good amount of, like, beer, uh, raw materials, and other stuff like that. Uh, how are we doing with the rice? I just don't see any rice in there. Like, they don't have any extra food. Are they really just this close to breaking even? In which case, let's go ahead and just put down a large grow zone of corn. Maybe like in this strip over here. Like this looks like a nice clear spot to put some down. Okay, I think I'm going to do that as just corn. Only because corn is low maintenance and even if it takes a long, long time to grow, at least that's something to look forward to for the future. <clears throat> no, I don't want it to be slightly in the not fertile zone. That will really give me pet peeves. There was a mod that let you uh, turn soil into fertile soil. I can't remember what it was. Was that Fertile Fields by Rainbow? Rainbow? But the one that didn't have all of the like harvesting of the fertilization. Something like that. Maybe it was a vanilla expanded mod. Was that an Oscar Pataki move? A sick Oscar Pataki move? That guy is talented. Actually, I've chatted with him since he did the uh, Vanilla Faction Expanded Pirates. Or it was when he did that. He's doing another game called Cursed Crew. I really want to check that out when that comes out. Ah, yes, and I didn't even mention Steam Deck, but a lot of people brought up, like, five head move. I'm just going to play it on the Steam Deck. <laughs> Which, yeah, I mean, they did... They did make RimWorld compatible. Is it fully compatible yet? I don't even own a Steam Deck. Nor do I really have any plans on getting one. But I don't know why I'm smoothing this. I'm just looking for stuff to do. Let's just let them catch up. Good. He's consolidating. And we are starting to get a slight surplus of corn here. I'm liking that. Ah, is it farm plots? Hey, Ayurasan. Thanks very much. Have I had a chance to try out RimWorld clone clan folk? Is it directly a clone? Or are they? did they say that I was inspired? Who knows? Like, I know Going Medieval said, yeah, like, we're directly inspired in a lot of ways. Which I think is okay. Quest failed. Oh, yeah, well, we planned on failing that one. I was worried about this guy. All right, how many more days of Paralytic Abasia do you have? How many more days of Paralytic Ab Wait, 30 days? Oh, are we not treating him with medicine? Or has it literally been only one day? It can't have been only one day. Hang on a second. We need to check his settings. Self-10, no. Movement unrestricted. Hang on a second. Why is he... What the heck? Is he not recovering from paralytic abasia? Or is it just me? I mean, it's certainly been that many days, right? Ooh... Or is it just showing me the total time somehow? Hang on a second. Information. I need some information. Hmm. Can be cured only with 10 Glitter World Medicine operation. 
Yeah, but at the same time, paralytic abasia should still show a countdown on how many days are remaining in it. So he's being fed. Actually, you know what I'm starting to think is, yeah, it, technically it doesn't even need tending with herbal medicine. I was just surprised at it. Didn't it seem like more days had passed? Or is it just me? We're on the 10th of Jugist right now. So... Remind me to check that back by the 12th. And if that number is not below 30, then we may have spotted something weird. It's either a display thing. I mean, it did go down from 31 to 30, but didn't it just seem like more... Yes, it's the counter, but he had like 31 days, like 20 minutes ago. Maybe time is just going by. So slowly, time is going by. Very slowly. <laughs> uh, what is that, Madonna? I went through a Madonna phase a while back where I... Madonna's pretty good. Ah, uh, wait a minute. I'm telling that this is, someone's going to die like this. Somebody's definitely going to die if I continue, if I keep this up. Uh, let's build a couple more of these. <laughs> yeah, only just so that nobody does the thing that they're going to do here. I'm going to need to do that as well. Yep. <laughs> Actually, technically, I don't need this door. Well, too bad. They're already halfway through it. <laughs> I just want to minimize the chances that a pawn steps on a spike trap and then kills themselves. Because I've had it happen before. I've had every possible mistake that you can have happen in this. Oh, was it 40 days from the beginning? Maybe we are in luck. Yeah, it's still 30 days. Hey, Kenny O'Malta. Thanks very much for the sub. Yeah, it could be the counter bugging too. It could be a UI thing. It's possible. Ugh, so many toes and pinkies you've lost. I do feel bad about that. Good, we've got some parkas coming up, some dusters. Nice, that's what we need. But are you. Everyone's wearing a parka. Clearly, we need. Hang on a second. I gotta get these. Switch these bills order. Can I reorder the bills as well? Um. Oh, actually, that's another feature. Yeah, usually... Uh, let me just make sure. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to switch around the order of these bills. Okay, that's a that's a fair thing. I mean, I can pause them, so that's nice. But normally in RimWorld, you can suspend a bill. Um, which I guess is basically pausing here. Um, but yeah, I don't seem to be able to reorder these. I could just redo the whole thing, which wouldn't be so hard. But if you have a lot of bills... Click the right stick in. Yeah, let me give that a try. Hmm, bills. Ah, aha! Yep, I stand corrected. Thank you for saying that. Yep, okay, so there we go. I just fixed my own mistake. That, in fact, did exist. All right, I'm good, I'm good, I'm glad. I, I think they added in most of the features. So let's add in the duster at the top. In case you didn't see, you know, obviously the, num the bill on the top is going to be the first one completed, so... That, that is, in fact, in the game. I take that back. All right, we're back down to 29 days. Maybe I'm just impatient. Yeah, all right. Well, his 29 days of paralytic abasia. Fortunately, that's not sending too much more to our colony because I believe that the number of colonists desired is between 3 and 8. And my God, look at how clean it looks now. Jump 2. Okay, we're being raided by Hatler again. This guy has... Ooh, that is a... What is that again? Is that a deployable shield? Yep. Uh, I think that's just a one-man shield. Hmm, stats, melee. Pretty bad. Pretty bad at everything. All right, not worried about this person. This person is rather good. Pyromaniac Gor... Oh, not really a desirable colonist in any way. Um, I would like to get a prisoner if I can. Body modder, iron wield. Okay, body modder is actually good because you can get body modder, but it's hard to come back from body purist. No raid sound. We did get a raid sound. Was it just very quiet? Let me turn up the music slightly again. I think we were there. Hmm... 
this is good raid music. Volatile. Uh, these two can die, but this guy might be useful. Are you good at anything? Sort of. Good doctor and uh, researcher. We can always kind of use more of those things. Hmm. Uh, Riptide and Conical Sphere. Thank you very much for the subs. Hmm. So I'm thinking that how do you lay a guy down without killing him in this? I think we could just... Where is Adam? Adam is in his room. He's in Adam's room. <laughs> or Adam's song. Maybe he's playing Adam's song. Let's just see what they do on their own. Who is shooting guns? He's the one who likes all our... Remember Nirvana? All our pretty songs and he likes to sing along. These guys are just... Ooh, you have an auto. SMG. Maybe they'll finally take out the bugs for me. Wow. Well done. Ah. Darn you. Darn you to heck. This is so hecking awesome. Ugh. Very cool. Hang on a second. It's under your gear. Do you Ooh, normal quality heavy SMG. I'll be taking that from you. The mega spider is running away. The very hungry caterpillar. Hey, these guys are going to work for me. I like that. At least it has common sense, but I think that it fled its nest and its baby. Hmm. I do want to keep shield out here, though. Although shield is... Shield didn't lose anything, though, in the last fight. I'm going to keep shield out because I want to shoot this guy, and I want that heavy SMG. Man, they're just going after all of the wildlife. It seems like even more than in the PC version, but... I'm just attributing that to bizarre RimWorld AI, which is quite fun. Ooh, they've angered a Mega Sloth. Okay, maybe we should get ready to... Like, come up for the for the win. No, they took out the colonists that I wanted. Darn. All right, let's see if we can get some pot shots off on this lady, because I would still like her weapon. The pump shotgun is pretty horrible quality, right? I mean, if we can get that, we aren't able to... Uh, Love heavy SMG for low skill shooters. A masterwork SMG. Yeah, masterwork SMGs are fantastic. It's one of the best items in the game. Like that or pump shotguns. Pump shotguns are sick. You just totally end a bunch of pawns in like three seconds. Ah, uh, this is my other thing too about uh, not being able to see range. Are we shooting at them? Ah, good. Got him to deploy the shield pack in the wrong spot. Let's see if we can just run away, because I don't really want to fight them. I don't want S.H.I.E.L.D. to get injured. But I want to bring them back to my base. Ah, that worked out even better than expected. Yeah, the range here is key, but I also want to make sure that he has cover, because... There's... You can micromanage as much as you want, but bizarre things do still happen in this game. Uh, good, they're going for the cover, but there's really nowhere to take cover around here. Okay, I don't want them to bum rush this cover. Um, the worst thing to have happen would be that I take out Rini the barkeep, and then Nelson flees, and I'm not able to do anything. So let's just run inside, because it looks like they're just going to run straight into my traps. Yup. Ah, got it. Got it. Okay, great. I don't really care about the other pawn. Hatler has so far sent us a lot of good people. Um... Who is this one going to go to? Who's the better shot, really, is what it ultimately comes down to. Uh, you know what? You take it. You lost your two fingers. You deserve a cool weapon. All right. Uh, that at least does give us some range, because I think range is the best thing we've got here. Mungu42. Thank you very much for the prime. Yeah, melee weapons. A lot of people think, uh, yeah, actually, uranium is a good point. Uranium mace. Or is there a better uh, weapon with better armor penetration now? I used to go by uranium mace, but then they started adding all these other weapons into the game. 
Okay, let's start to add in a bill because I want to do this. This is part of my whole production chain. Um, not the drug lab. It's the smelter. Here we go. So I like to have tainted smeltable clothing go into these things. But I don't like to give it too much room. It's good if you want to handle large raids and just recycle steel off of them. I think I'll put it here. I don't want so much explosion danger here either. And these things consume a lot of power, so it's usually worth turning them off. Um, good. Wow, this is a pretty well-run colony. But, I mean, have I at least proven to you that I can create a very well-run colony off the console version? I thought it would be a pain in the neck to run a, like, a large colony like this. Uh, but so far, it is not. He who smelt it, dealt it. <laughs> yeah, the trap placement is good. Yeah, the revolver, the revolver is better. I mean, the revolver is fantastic at close range, but ideally, we just don't even get them at close range at all because of the traps we've done. What can still happen is that people drop pod in on our base, uh, for which... Actually, that's a pretty reasonable threat to start thinking about now. Uh, I may be forced to do this with wood. The sharp animals. What is that? It's called the sharp animals. Theopus, Theophis Nicpus. Recently lost a scouting party that three men had to... Wants to draw the beast toward you to be killed to uphold his honor. Uh, okay, so we do have... Ooh, we could get an elbow blade or a masterwork revolver. Ooh, or some hyperweave. Honestly, the masterwork revolver is not that bad. Um, just very hard to get, and that could be fantastic at close range, like we were just speaking of. And an elbow blade is quite badass, and it's only three men hunting arctic wolves. What could go wrong here? All right, what do you want? Reward one, revolver. Reward two, elbow... What does the elbow blade do again? Let me just go double check. Elbow blade... Or do you want hyperweave? Let me know in chat. In the meantime, I really don't use the elbow blade. There's also all the risk of surgery we have with installing an elbow blade. Hmm. Beauty minus four work... It doesn't actually show the combat stats of this. And max hit points 50, but it can't be bad. Yeah, that could be bad. I mean, that could be good if people get close to us because there is quite a lot there. All right, take your votes. This one is the most valuable. Hyperweave is rare. And then a Masterwork Revolver is pretty good. But at the same time, I don't know, it would be in replacement of something else. Uh, Hyperweave. Hang on a second, what is happening here? Oh, more visitors. All right. Nobody want nobody wants hyperweave. <laughs> right. You know what? Normally I would do it this this way, but I want to be fun and get an elbow blade. I'm doing it. The sharp animals, here we come. Give me the elbow blade. There we go. All right, so we're going to have three man hunting wolves be it like attracted in here, but they're probably just going to die to our traps anyway. So why even bother? Mm. Elbow blade. They call me the blade, the elbow blade. Now we have a place to stand. I think the only thing we can really do is just make more traps. Oh yeah, that was what I was saying before, was the whole thing with getting drop potted in on. So they could just drop pod anywhere in our base. Usually it'll be somewhere in the hallways and we have to kind of deke them out. So Hey, ambiguous love your content. I'm gonna do this. I was wondering if you will ever be doing any sort of long form content, Gerald Williams series or Torsolo, in the future? Ah. Uh, uh as much as I liked doing those, I would have to be in a mode to do them. Hey, thank you very, very much for the prime dated cylinder. I don't know, like, some people have asked if I will, like, why can't you do it more philosophically? Or, I don't know. It, it seems that I've reached the channel size where no matter what I do, there will be dissent from what I do, which I actually think is a sign of... 
Okay, here we go. The man hunting Arctic wolves. Ah, I can't jump to them. Ooh, glitter world medicine. That's good. Maybe I would bring it back as like a Twitch thing if I were to ever do. I, I'll just say that. Yeah, no, no real plans to as of right now. I liked doing them. Um, if the situation arose, like if there were a big, I don't know, something, if something were released, like as new content for a game, then it might bring back something like that. But so far, no plans. I, there kind of was a return of Tor Solo. That was the Tor Squad, but the video just didn't really get as much like promotion because I, I kind of went really hard on that. <laughs> the Tor Squad. I don't know if you ever watched the Tor Squad. But the reason why I don't do those things also, too, just from like a... Uh, like a what could I be doing? Well, it, it always kind of hurts if you start up a project and it doesn't really... It doesn't do as well as you want or it doesn't really get the reception that you would want it to. And then you're kind of stuck doing it for an entire month, which is why I largely stick to shorter form stuff now. Um, that's one reason. Another reason is if I just, you know, I want to be able to move around projects once per week. Usually by the time I'm done with one week of making something that it, I'm tired of it um, and I want to move on to a new project. But that's some reasons. Yeah. I mean, that's why, you know, I'll circle back to stuff over time though too. We need to kill these things. Otherwise they will come, it, it gets, it, the ones that it kills get up and kill. Sheckley, yes, he has the SMG. Okay, so we want we get some SMG action right here. Here we go. Good job, Sheckley. Get out there. And my God, how can you? So is it selecting the interact consume Arctic Wolf? Well, that wasn't what I had in mind. That's yeah. There sometimes there's a couple of options on screen where you can. Doom. Oh, wait, no, it was dead. Okay, let's just fire at it. Never mind. I take that back. See how it opens up that nice little menu there? I do like that. All right. Look who just got an elbow blade. Oh, and they delivered it to just the right spot. <laughs> the elbow blade delivery spot. Thank you. Let's get an actual thing here. Hmm the Game Boy Sims videos. Yeah, basically everything that I've done since last year with like a segment has done pretty well. Um, but I mean, I always find, and that sounds kind of shallow, but I, I'd be lying if I told you I didn't think about it. Um, but ultimately, I mean, what kind of spurs change in videos is when it comes from within, like when I really genuinely want to play something like a couple months ago, I played SimCity 4, and I didn't think that would be as interesting to as many people as it was. But it was great, because I love those old uh, simulation games. And, um, I don't know, I couldn't be happier with that. So that's generally what I do now. I'm more just thinking about it, is it something that I want, that I genuinely want to do? And to kind of put that into perspective, my email inbox is surprisingly full of sponsor requests nowadays, but there's a lot of stuff that I just don't really look at because I just think it's, yeah, and like good offers too, but I'm also just like, uh, I don't really think I want to spend a week of my time on this, you know? So, um, I'm blessed. I'm blessed by you guys. And I'm, I'm grateful for you guys for that. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's the way the cookie crumbles. I, unfortunately, I can't be in 10 places at once, but that's partly why I've done the VOD channel is so that I can do more stuff. And there's so many other fantastic content creators out there who do long form stuff uh, that's really good and really detailed. Like I'd point to my friend, um, Mr. Sam Streamer, who does so many like really interesting RimWorld player uh, playthroughs. And I've always said that if I had to stick to one game over uh, over a long period of time or just pick one game on the channel to play forever, uh, it would be RimWorld. And I, I think Sam does a really good job on that stuff. So I would I would recommend him to you guys if you uh, if you're looking for anything like that. In fact, he has quite a lot of playthroughs like that because he used to do more Crusader Kings, but I think he's mostly just kind of gone hard into RimWorld. Although he has his second and third channels, so. Ah, oh, no, not the flu. 
You have the flu and pre well, actually, this is not such a bad happenstance for you. Yep. Ah. Ah. Okay, we have spotted what appears to be a either a UI bug or a, an actual functional bug. As everybody's seeing this, it was the third. It was the tenth of Jugus when we had thirty days, but now we're looking back and it's only twenty nine days. I'm pretty sure like fifteen days have passed on this guy, but I think he's. Uh, I think that he's. Oh wait! No, 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 no! Do not use the glitter world medicine on him. Do not use the glitter world medicine on him. In fact, let him die. He will die. Put that medicine away. No, I've started suddenly started talking like the king, and I don't mean Elvis. It's kind of badass that he got the nickname the king. I like people to call me the king. <laughs> uh, no, actually, that would get very weird very fast. Maybe like as a novelty for five minutes, and then after that, uh, all right, thank you. That'll be enough. That'll be enough. I wonder if that means that Prince is Elvis's son in any way, like in Just some for someone to mod this deep UI lore. Control scheme to the Steam Deck. Now, these are some bizarre thoughts. We've entered some interesting territory here, folks. Ah, if they did this on the Steam Deck, that would... You know, I have no experience of it whatsoever. I don't know how you would record video on a Steam Deck, though. Can you stream from a Steam Deck? Then it would be a Stream Deck. <laughs> oh, God! Oh, that was funny, wasn't it? I'm trying to remember what else we were trying to do in here. Slate traps, wooden spike traps. Let's also designate a few more of these trees. And... No, I can't sow any trees yet, because I just haven't done that. I just haven't done it. The, the trees, we're having to go further and further to get... It's like extreme deforestation. The colony. Hmm... Was that a dad joke? I guess it was like a, an Elvis Prince dad joke. Sure, yeah. Sure, fair enough. What quality did we get on this? Good, 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 good. We're going to try to get rid of all the bad quality chairs. All right, we're, we have some good constructor. Definitely good. Oh, there is no recreation out here. Wait a minute. They lost their... Uh, they lost their... Horseshoe pin. So let's go give them some sort of recreation. Okay, um, I will do... Let's do marble. Because why not? <laughs> why not, right? Uh, and we'll do that, like, out here. Somewhere where they won't hate the surroundings completely. I'm going to do one out there, and I am going to do an indoor one, too. It's good to have the options, I feel. Yep, next to the plant. Now, we want to start to get rid of some of these decorative plants and things like that. And we can also... Ooh, we can also do a poker table. Or is it a... Well, we can afford the poker table right now, so I'll do that. But we have the necessary cotton, so I will definitely have that as an option. Do that there. And then we'll do... Do some more chairs. I'm just going to stick with wooden chairs for now. Hmm. Rotate, rotate. Oops, rotate, 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 rotate. We probably don't need that many chairs. I'm just starting to realize we don't have this many people in the colony. It's not like we're going to play poker with... You can never really have guests over, unless if you have hospitality, of course. But, well, neither here nor there. I guess I could have made that out of... Uh, Second-guessing myself too much. All right, Um, do we have any other sculptures ready? No, unfortunately. Well, we just need to give them some time. Time, of course. Hmm, this is not... Oh, but we do need bills, hey, so Q order. How is the colony Melt. going? Kappa. Uh-oh. Ka uh, hey, the king? Oh, thank you. Hey, Pedro, what's up? 
Pedro was the uh, the guy who got me the uh, the key to the game. Hey, thank you very much for coming out, Pedro. I listed a little bit of feedback for the uh, for the dev team too, just throughout the video, mostly at the beginning, just for like a couple of features that I can't find. So I just wanted to get that through to you guys. Um, but overall, like I've now gotten totally clear with the controls, and everything is doing uh, everything is kind of going great guns. There were even a couple of features like moving around bills, which I figured out how to do. So I don't know if I'm just missing them, but I wanted to just relay that to you. Uh, because I think you guys did a fantastic job, but I, I, I keep repeating myself here. Um, but yeah, just ad admon or not the right word. Yeah, I, I would like to shower the team with with a lot of praise. This is a very good port. Um, wait a second, add build mode. Here we are. Is it this? Who ingredient radius limited? Who any worker ingredients choose? Awful to legendary. Um, I believe, actually, there is one I'm missing here. Like, if the clothing is tainted. Um, and we've been experimenting with the tainted clothing policy. So that we have seen a little bit of. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of put that out there. Um, yeah, because it would be nice if I could, like, get rid of tainted clothing. Um, or smelt it. Like, there should be one other option here. But I think that, unless if I'm missing it and if it's somewhere else I see, in which case... Thank you, but thank you very much for the 608 as well. God bless. Hmm. No, we don't have Tynan, we have Pedro from, unless if Tynan is secretly lurking, which is always like a fantasy of mine as well, but we have Pedro from Devil 11 who's also on the dev team, but thank you very much for coming out. Ah. Uh -huh. I also just have to say that I got a lot faster with the controls since the last time. Like, I purposefully began when I was muddling through because I wanted to see if I would muddle through at the start. And I am no longer muddling through, and I am entering, like, the same flow state of mind that I desire when I play RimWorld. So, this state of mind is desirable, and I am... I am completely serene right now. I just wanted to put that front and center. Front and center. Mm. Now, will this paralytic abasia be recovered from by you? Actually, it is slightly lowering. I'm not sure if the paralytic abasia... Eh, now it has gone down. Either that or he's just stuck in some sort of, like, forever land of paralytic abasia. Uh, have we been tending to his flu... Oh, this is because we told it. Yeah, just let him rough it. See if he gets better. Uh, okay, I will give him, like, some basic medical care. Herbal medicine or worse, but I'm not going to start to... Oh, no, that's one of the worst possible things that we could have. Have an update to ensure the things you made. Yeah, no, I saw the other... Up uh, I mentioned all of it at the beginning of the VOD, so I... I feel bad repeating myself here, but yeah, it'll all be back at the beginning of the VOD. I, don't worry, I, I, I did some justice. Release to the wild. We don't want this... We don't want this, Boom Rat. Let this pass over me. Oh, and you know what else we can do? Ah, grenades! Oh, wait, no, that wasn't grenades. Well, let's just take these anyway. 99 bottles of beer. There we go. And the insect jelly. Which will make them happier. Normal 59% uh, rifle thing. We could uninstall this glow pad. I don't know why we would. But I'm going to go ahead and do... um. Zone. Now, where is the Forbidden Zone? Colony, I believe it was under a sign. Did we tell them to stay in Area 1? Um, schedule? Ah, ske uh, no, it wasn't under Schedule either. Where is it? I rarely have had to use this one. Areas. Area 1. No, not home. Gosh, where is it? Oh, I forget. I haven't done this at all. This is embarrassing now. Very embarrassing for me. It would be a shame if I were this embarrassed for much longer on the stream. Work. It had to be... Now, where was it? I totally said it the last time. Table. His name is Table. Drug policy, social drugs. Darn it. I don't remember what it was. Oh, now I remember. This was one of the ones where I had to navigate into the individual colonist menus. Yes, that was another thing, just like the individual. But I've again, I have already said it. Um, 
so I will no longer belabor saying the same things multiple times. Mm, here we go, area one. That's it. Unrestricted. Now that we have killed the bugs, uh, I can move in peace again. Movement. You may move wherever you wish. Move here or there. There we go. And I did learn to change the home zone, so that was good. Home zone, self-tend, no. You know what, just so I don't forget about this because everyone else is set to it. Good, good. Man hunting pack of, of what? Labrador retrievers. I knew they would be around at some point to collect the taxes. Right, uh, not a great time. What are we going to do? Haul some pemmican back? I imagine that Labrador Retrievers are faster than a man without two of his fingers. He has only eight of those fingers left to walk on. So let's bring him back in. Good, and you're there. Oh, whoops, no, I don't want time going that fast. <laughs> there should be, like, a stupid control in this game. Because it happens. Um, okay, uh, retreat to the safety from laboratory retrievers section of the base. See, now we can retreat back to a better spot. And look, the laboratory retrievers, just they just go to sleep. That's all they're doing right now. They just went to sleep. Oh, they do have Scaria. Right, you are drafted. Stand there. I like the, uh, I do like the combat mini menus though these have been really nice how you can just quickly go into here that's been a really that that was a very good touch on the ui i want to say hmm. amnesia vod i've never played amnesia on the channel hmm. you can cure scare you can cure scary i thought it was unrecoverable well my mistake you will handle it, and you will like it. Release the boom rat. Except this is... I am beginning to realize a horror... Good, he's carrying him away. To be free in the wild again. That is like Looney Tunes? Yeah, something like that. I thought that was like Time Out, you know? Looney Bin. <laughs> like, why would there be a bin? In which, you know, you would go in, in case if you were loony. Mm. Unless if we're talking about, of course, like uh, like psychological hospitals in the, uh, what was it, the early... Wasn't that like a whole movement after that factory burned down? Something like that. Uh, I'm just so filled with references from social studies now. All right. I got a little off topic there. Mm, these rooms, how are you liking your room now? May I take your hat, sir? Decent bedroom, okay. Ah, you know what they need is something like a dresser. Something like a dresser. Oh, and we also need to flick this thing off. Let's, um, I wonder if I have the option on that. Yes, I do. Designate power toggle. Yep, okay, turn that off. It just consumes. It consumes. Three blue medicine to cure Scaria. Wow. I'd better get a bunch of, like, uh, disgusting, horrible, putrid animals to cure. I would uh, probably be much better off. All right, make them better off. Man, I can't even make words anymore. How long have we been streaming? We've been streaming for three hours. This is what I find, is that whenever RimWorld does a very good update, I can play it again for hours on end. Because I, that was it's one of those games where I just like lose track of time, you know? I lose all sense of time. Time and space, man. Let's put this over here. And... I don't know if it's a good I I mean, is that like the MLG move to get... New bedrooms made. I figure if we're going to get somebody, we might as well have a bedroom ready for them. Like a hotel. 
trying to figure out which way this is rotating. Is there any way just by ro Okay, I think I got it. Now I am doing these out of stone. I believe I could have done those end tables out of stone, but I didn't. Excellent. Excellent. This is what's good about having a great constructor is that he gets such fantastic quality on everything. Pretty sure that's one of the main things we need. So dresser, end table. Um, we will go into the beauty tab here. Go into the beauty tab. Eight, 25, look at that, 25. That's a very high number. I bet you can't name any numbers higher than 25. Or it'd at least take you a few minutes to think of which numbers went beyond that. Hey, is the stream I watch when I need extra words in my... Uh, uh, yeah, it's probably because I'm too verbose. Somehow made use of my English degree. No one else in my family had done it before me. I was the first man to ever make, make, make use of that. It's like, oh God, why did we do this, family? Hmm. Spike trap, interact. You know, I think I'm going to remove this one. We don't need that. Figure it. 24, yes, I'll, most people can name numbers only up to 24. There is a number beyond 24 though. Or what was it, the meaning of life is 42. Of course, of course it is. What else would it have been? Hmm. I think I did go through a phase. Okay, also to the reason why I've queued like 20 spike trap builds is because I want them to just slowly start to uh, like bring these in. They're just gonna need to get to the end of this construction though. Noom, 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 noom. This is like the kind of forlorn song in the track. Oh, Adam, I love it when you construct anything. I thought he was a woman, so I was hoping that we would get some, like, colony romance going or something like that. I've never done, like, a full RimWorld colony where you just try to play on people's relationships, because it never goes so well. Somebody always loses a toe, and then... I mean, we had that happen where one guy, like, took out another guy's eyeballs, and it was... Oh, it was, it was horrible. It was like a Hannibal Lecter moment. Wait a minute. Animatry died... Oh, did I accidentally cue the destruction? I believe I did that. Oh, well. All right. Well, we'll have a nice catharsis from that anyway. Yeah, you shouldn't destroy uh, anima trees in the game. I think I might just tell them to put clubs out in the open so that they can deteriorate. Because I can't think of any club that would really be worth taking up space out here. So let's go ahead and do that. Architecture. It's not really architecture, but it sort of is. Uh, let's put them way out in no man's land. I mean, who really cares if raiders arm themselves with clubs because they're worthless? At this point in the game. At this point in the game. Uh, forbid all. Let's make it, like, important. Even critical priority on clubs. I guess we have to do this. To tick all of those, and let's just say all clubs belong here. Yeah. Hmm. A lot of people like the Rimworld. I, I liked it about the first five to fifty times I heard it, and now I'm a little tired of it. But that happens with anything. Except Nintendo, strangely. I don't know what secret sauce they were using in Nintendo, but those soundtracks will never get old to me. Vengeful Hunter named Johns is crashing at a transport pod nearby. I imagine I'll get great nostalgia when I hear them in a few years. Okay, since our other colonist is worthless, are you any good? First off, can... Okay, he's gonna die in eight hours. He's not really missing anything. That's good. Uh, does he have any other weird qualities? He is a very good fighter. All right, that's useful. Quick sleeper, chemical interest, optimist. That's actually great. He's not capable of dumb labor, though. I don't love that. Um, does he have some other job that he could do? You kind of got to have one thing. He's in mind-shattering pain. It's part of your interview process. He could be our researcher. 
And he could be a miner as well. There is some more. We've done most of the mining, unfortunately. But yeah, we could use this guy for a researcher. Okay, looks like we've got our first uh, actual not be asleep for 10 hours colonist. Uh, can we get him back in time? I think so. Adam seems to be very stable as a human. Wait a second. I would rather imprison him. He's from at fin... Uh, no, he just seems to be a free agent. I mean, this isn't the NFL, but yeah, he's he's a free agent. Yeah, there he goes. Hey, Cozy Matt. Happy to hear the content helped you in some way. I, I don't know, I don't know how, but uh, I I hope it helped you enjoy whatever it is you're looking for from it. Hey, thank you very much. Thanks for coming out. God bless you. Hope you're not going through whatever troubles it is, or you're or you're getting over them in some way. Yeah, I, I feel that. I used to watch some YouTube videos when I was feeling kind of down. Mm. Now I never feel down because I'm always watching myself. <laughs> uh, if only I were telling the truth. Oh, I haven't had to have a prisoner. Now somebody had mentioned... Well, let's just see it for ourselves. Uh, we want to recruit. Um, prison break interval. He's re his resistance is at 15%. What does that mean? Only like 15% of the time he's just like, ah, and just pushes at us. <laughs> yeah, I changed my mind. I need to get out of here. You know, something like that. I know why. I was never very good at yelling at the camera. I just, whenever I yell, it sounds cringe. And maybe I've gotten better at that. I hope I have. Mm, John Vengeful is no longer in... Why is his title Vengeful? That is a little unnerving. Hang on a second. We need somebody go and clean this area up. Seems strange to hire a prisoner to do your research for you. Okay, we gotta smooth these surfaces. Hey, this cell is not perfectly, like, beautiful as much as it could be. So I just want to make sure that we do him justice. And let's also move this standing lamp. I had neglected to see this, but I don't like it getting in the middle of the room, but also, too, this is somewhat necessary. Okay, and let's also move this out. We'll just give him the marble. This is a very nice set of, like, digs for a prisoner. Do that. And then here we go. Adam... Oh, there we go. He's right on it, baby. Right on it. Atta boy. Atta boy. Atta boy. Hey, let's see. How do you feel? How do you feel, Ratty Apparel? So the other thing we would like to do would be to give prisoners some decent clothing. But again, I think I'm not going to micromanage that too much simply because the clothing apparel micromanagement seems like it's something I'm going to be waiting a couple pa patches to do perfectly well. Um, table is still in tattered apparel, but that's for a different reason. Yeah, I don't have a compressor on the mic. I should really do something like that. Like, none of my live stream audio is, uh, processed through a... Like, I'm using pretty sketchy live stream audio, and I have for years. It doesn't really come out too much in the recordings. I could try to bump it up. In fact, I should probably do that, because I could. I've just never really noticed that it made the quality worse. And I also had years when I was working on YouTube stuff where I was just like... All I was thinking about was audio quality, and I didn't really pay attention to, like, editing or just... If I liked the stuff I was making, I don't know. So, um... Yeah, I haven't really thought about it. But it's a, it's a big way to spend a lot of money, because audio equipment is very expensive. Fortunately, when you do find what you like, then you, you never really have to think about it again. Yeah, I'm, I'm going through a Shure SM7B. This is like the mic that everybody uses. But yeah, I would swear by this thing. This is a fantastic mic. I have a, I think it's called like a DBS68X or something like that. But then they made that, what is the other preamp that every streamer uses now 
like the Go XLR. Ah, those things. They look, I've never used one, but they look really good. And uh, I would like to try one one day. Hmm. It can also kind of make it sound like you have the voice of God too, but it, like it may be too much. <laughs> I don't know if I'm prepared for that. They look very nice though, so not, you know, not throwing any, not to throw any shade on them. Man, all these animals keep self-taming. so bizarre. So what I'm trying to do now is just get rid of all of the dirt because they do tend to track dirt onto pathways. And the more I can get rid of areas that are dirty that I don't want dirt to be there, the better. That was difficult to say all of that, but yeah. Um, and also too, just leaving anything as dirt that I don't care if it gets dirty because you don't want to, dirt can't get dirty. So sometimes you're just best off leaving it as dirt. That sounded like just ridiculous. I'm never going to say any of that again. Um, hmm, what else could we do? Well, we do need more slate, so we could go deeper into the fridge. I don't like to have people mining in here for too long, so I'm going to do these in little chunks. Uh, little bits. They'll just kind of bite off one at a time. And also, too, I suppose that we could just take some chunks from off the rest of the map if there's just slate lying around. Like, there's a little patch of slate. Hollows. Dirt is considered dirty as far as a f bunch of... Oh, because you had been doing dirt floor kitchens. Well, you, sir, are on another level. Audio has always been fantastic. It's really clear. I In the videos, it's I do a lot of processing, which you, is pretty much all you're getting in with, like, the amps, but... Well, thank you anyway. I don't know. I, I've noticed that it's been okay. I, I think it's just because the Shore is a very good mic. It's not distracting is what I'm trying to say. Because there are people who have audio that's like, I am God, you know? <laughs> and it's just like, okay. Uh, thank you for speaking to us. <laughs> but it's just like, why did you do It's almost distracting because the audio is too good. Or sometimes there are people who are, I, I think they consider them audiophiles, where they just have like so much good audio that it, it does kind of... It does kind of distract from the viewing experience. But yeah. Also, too, no one really likes the sound of their own voice, to be fair. That's also partly because it's being like reverberated through your own skull, and you're hearing it much richer because you're hearing it. It's a hard thing to describe, and I don't fully understand it myself, but it's the reason why whenever you listen to a recording of your own voice, you're like, ah, that doesn't sound like what I think I sound like. So it tends to do that. I don't know, just something I find very interesting. I got super into audio and I almost studied music when I was in uh, school. I just always found it very interesting. I got into like music production and stuff like that. Super interesting still. And I mean, if you kind of compare it with video editing, there there's a lot in common. Ah, all right, brief tangent, brief tangent, but I think now we're done with that. Are you going to go mine in that room? I'm almost scared to send them into this room. In fact, I think I'm just going to cancel this because I don't have... We don't have that many corpses and I don't want to ruin someone's day. Ooh, and a bulk goods trader. Okay, I'm going to slaughter this dough. Uh, no, I didn't get the bulk goods trader. Okay, are these guys able to get in? Yes, the chickens have followed up using the door in a civil manner. Sheckley. Ah, darn it. Hang on a second. Trade. Snake, the bulk goods trader. Uh, we have roosters, but we don't have... Ah, this is kind of crazy. Let's try this. This could be interesting. Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking when you see these animals? Hmm... Do you see what I'm seeing? Mm. Hey, Remot W. And uh, Tan Melon, thank you very much for the prime. Hmm. I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. Uh, what do we have? 80, 862. Let's get both of these roosters and let's get all of the unfertilized chicken eggs and see if we can raise a farm of chickens just in the hope that they will 
like, fertilize the eggs, we will put them somewhere. How do you raise the chicken eggs? Um, and what else? We could sell some of this stuff. We don't really need, and we actually want to keep our wealth slightly down. Because it, it may be too high right now. Let's sell them the insect jelly, because I don't really have much use for... I know it makes them slightly happier, but it is very valuable as a commodity. Oh, a male needs to fertilize and eat a female before it gets lit. I mean, as in real life. Come on, guys. I know about how chickens uh, do it. But that doesn't work. Damn it. I really wanted my chicken farm. Well, let's also see if he has any other stuff, too. Ah, uh, the cloth I'll definitely take. Wait a minute. I, I bet you you're right, but then why have unfertile... I guess then they just... That's like other ova that they just lay. Ah, oh, I have so many questions. Could I also... Ah. Uh, you know what, maybe I'll just get the roosters anyway, just in case if we manage to get a chicken. Like, I will buy both of them. And I'm gonna, just in case of the off chance that this is not biologically accurate, let's get like 15 eggs, guys. I want to use uh, fictional chicken uh, reproductive traits in order to get this done. The elbow blade, I have hopes for. I want the wake, I don't really want the wake up because it can create addictions. Ambrosia is good. I'll leave it, actually. Ambrosia is okay. Um, what else? Blue fur? I do want some of this stuff, but dog leather isn't very useful. Like, if we had panthera fur, that's very good for heat. Um, pig skin, I don't think is particularly useful for anything. Is there a way to fast to do this? Nah, I think we have to scroll for each of these. That could be useful if they added in a, a number entry, if... Or maybe I'm just not seeing it. Bird skin, I don't believe, is really that useful. Plain leather. I would just like cloth because it's useful in construction. And why not have one single chicken? I mean, come on. Could have been useful. I, I've always wanted a farm. I've never got my RimWorld farm. I deserve it. I deserve it. Labrador retriever meat. Only because it's Labrador retriever meat. But it's taking so long to sell this. Okay, this is something that could be changed slightly on the UI. Or is there like one button that says times 50? Or even something as simple as that could uh, that could work. The boomalo meat kind of weirds me out. So I'm going to sell some of that as well. All right, we'll do like 44 of that. I just keep it out to an even 100. And then what else do they have? They have thrumbo fur. That's kind of cool, but they don't have that much of it. Um... Cloth parka. Let's just see if they have anything interesting. They don't, unfortunately, have any construction materials, which they sometimes do. But it seems as this time is a no. And then the last thing I'm just going to take is all of... I will buy all of their cloth. L1... Wait a minute. L1 for fast modif... Oh, wait a minute. That's good. Oh! I wish I had seen that before. Thank you for seeing that. Ah, or I could have even just done Max. Thank you. Ah, that's perfect. See, it was on the top and not the bottom, so I wasn't seeing it. That was very embarrassing. Okay. We can give them a gift as well. I didn't even realize that you could do that. All right, well, then let's just sell them all the... Oh, it reset everything, damn it. All right, well, now that we know that we can do that, let's just sell... All of the boom below. I mean, now I can do this fast. Sell them... Sell them all my rice. I don't need my rice. I can do without it. I've got plenty of other crap. Uh, sell them. Sell them the dog leather. Sell them the pig skin. Okay, this is much better. Yep, I take everything back that I just said. Some of this we did kind of need to discover on the stream. See, we have some panther fur. Very useful. Very useful. Skin, I don't know. I'm just doing random stuff now. Ten. Give me like ten eggs. Give me that rooster, give me that rooster, just in case. I may very well slaughter these things, though. 81, that's good enough for me. Except... Good purchasing, boys. Alright, now let's see if there's any female chickens on the map. 
Vavum Vav is uh how do I'm like raising my eyebrows in real life. Dog yeah, we got rid of the dog load. That was a little odd. Wildlife. Do we have any chickens? Any lady chickens around? Any lady chicken nope. That's unfortunate. Uh okay, let's just prevent them from Let's use fictional biology in order to get through the rest of this. Hmm. Simple meal. Mood. Storage. Ingredients. Choose. All right, we will have none of... Actually, we don't even want meat in these. I don't know why I had that. We will have uh, animal products. Here we go. I had no unfertilized eggs. Just on the off chance that somehow the roosters see the regular eggs and get excited. Hmm. And at the very least, I can also kind of get a pen ready for these things. I guess I'll put them, like, around here. And this gives me an excuse to grow some hay grass. I believe they eat hay grass, right? Or they can. What do chickens eat in real life? They just kind of peck at the ground. Don't they eat, like, uh... Cows? <laughs> I don't know what... Uh, they eat, like, seed. Stuff like that, right? I've never had a chicken. Hey, grass. Basic, yeah, basically just anything. I don't know. It, sometimes people do have pet chickens. Like, I, I lived in a city a while back, and there, I had a co-worker who raised his own chickens, and he would bring eggs to work. Fascinating guy. Very cool. Pretty good eggs, too. Okay, um, egg laying will raise... Uh, haulers will take the eggs, only if the box is full. Let's see what happens if they do this. I'm gonna build two of these. Maybe like one for fertilized, one for fertil unfertilized. Uh, let's do a fence gate. Let's do a pen marker. And let's do an animal flap. I just think that the word flap is funny. As a noun or a verb. Actually, this base is surprisingly organized. Liking it. I, this kind of takes away from some of the areas I would have used for s tree sowing, but... Interact. Let's find out if they do anything with this. Where have the eggs gone? Oh no, they're eating them. <laughs> uh, whoops-a-daisy, whoops-a-daisy. Raw food. Vegetarian, nope, none of that. Tell me that they're not using them for the... I think that this is all fictional, but I'm preparing it for when we actually have chickens in the future. Just keep that in mind. I'm, I'm not this stupid, but... I mean, maybe I am. Uh, but also, too, I've, I've encountered a few things in this game that, you know, aren't perfectly scientifically accurate. Farming? Uh, what is this for? Do I need to do anything with these things? Farming. Okay, so then this is chickens. How do we... Uh, I haven't in interacted with this screen at all. Allow animals. Okay, all those. Auto cut plants. Plant Cut plants now. Um, let's just see if there's a way to quickly... Yep, okay, so the roping will occur. The roping of the chickens. Good. Good. Good, and we can just give them some area to graze on. I mean, normally I would do this in another area, but it's like, whatever. In fact, let's just expand this out a little bit more just so they have more area to graze on. We don't want to give them all the corn, but... Yeah, I mean, if they could just eat whatever is in there, that's fine by me. In fact, I should have done this all the way out to there. Let's just rebuild it all. Ah, why did I do this this way? Oh, yeah, because they had that activity over there. Okay, never mind. Take it all back. Hatler again? I like getting raided by Hatler. It's always f a good show whenever they come. Hmm. Stomp, the scientist. It's unfortunate we don't have that other guy, but maybe this will be like our penultimate fight. Hmm. 
Turn to shoot with using pen markers. They kill the oldest animals, which... Uh, do I think I'll get back to Project Zomboid in the future? At some point. Taking kind of a break from it for now. Cleaning, hauling, health. Hmm. Pessimist. Character. Hmm. Pump shotgun. Okay, so you aren't really that good at this. So I'm not too worried about you. But the pump shotgun is scary to me because it can just, like, take people out in a second. Volatile. Uh, careful. Okay, this is maybe worth looking at. But still, the care careful shooter just means he's going to get one decent shot in. But then that's it. Hard worker and kind. This guy is good. Ooh, I want this guy in my base. Vance recruiter. Okay, if we can recruit Vance. Isn't that our second Vance that we've encountered? And how close are you to recruitment before we... 13.2%. I guess we just haven't had as much time. He has so many new developments in here. Alright, so they're going to wait around before they attack. That's rather a lot of them. How new are our defenses? Okay, we are really not very prepared for this. I'm just going to have you... Uh, reinstall this over here. Um, you know what? Cancel this for right now. Reinstall this over here. Leave that one there. Reinstall this one. Yeah, what is wrong with that spot? Is there something else blocking that that I can't see? Reinstall this here. All right, now we're gonna have to do some manual prioritization. Go, go, go! Whoops, didn't mean to do three times speed. Okay, actually, let's get the whole team on this one. Construction skill to, oh, wait a minute. No, you can totally just move it though a little bit. Hang on a second. Oh, he's already doing it. And you are cooking a simple meal. Let's have you do this. Okay, good. Just get in at least three of those spike traps. We don't have to kill all of these raiders. We just have to do enough that they start to run away. Reserved by Sheckley. These are all new ones we were trying to build. Okay, I think that's all we can do, really. Wait a minute. Reinstall this. There. Good enough. Okay, and it sounds like they have been aggroed now. Anna and Banana, thank you very much for the sub. Also to Might Night Taco Hlava from before. Thank you for the 500 bits. Hmm. All right, the chickens must wait. And I will also just, let's recruit everybody because I do want to get in some pot shots here. Uh, you go there. Oh, ah, okay, they're going to be very close here. We'll have to go inside before they get very close. In fact, you just stand out there. Let's just do one man. Are they going to have, like, a standoff, though? If they get into pump shotgun range, I'm, uh, I'm running away. Okay, I'm running. I'm running. Oh, why at this moment would a boomalo pass out right there? There is no comeuppance from this. Hang on a second, I have an idea. Actually, there may be one way of redemption. Oh, Jesus. Why would you have to pass out there? Are you, are you thinking what I'm thinking? You better be thinking what I'm thinking. I think we're going to have to stand these guys out in the fields. You stand back there. Actually, you stand there. No, you know what? Stay right where you are. Stay right where you are. You go over there. Okay, now we're now we're cooking with fire. Okay, we're going to need to time this right. We're going to need to time this right. Uh only when I'm ready. Only when I'm ready. Actually, cancel that action. Wait, did somebody find another way around? No, nobody did. 
You get out of here. You leave. Nope, there, we're fine. Okay, well, I'm just going to shoot it anyway. Uh, yeah, attack that. Whoops. You are undrafted. You are undrafted. Okay, a little bit micromanage you right there, but it's fine. And all this stuff is stone, so I could just shoot that thing anyway. Good. Harmless. Phew. See, that was another example of, like, a very micromanagey filled attack that I had to manage. I mean, most of them are, to be fair. But, um, yeah, you know, I think that the console version handled it pretty well. Hmm. Ah, yes. Tear down this wall, Mr. Adam. Mm -hmm. Deconstruct. There it is. Cool. Now the chickens have space to graze. Room to grow. Room to grow. Or either that or just they'll die. One or the other. One or the other. Is anybody still alive from that? Nah, they all died on the spot. Ah, oh, we got a normal pump shotgun out of that. Honestly, not that bad a weapon. And a normal bolt action rifle. And those also go into our stores. Now the bows are beginning to seem somewhat redundant. Okay, let's add them into the pile. And also probably steel knives would be, uh, will be unnecessary to keep out. I, I just don't even want to bother with selling these things. They're so worthless. Uh, let's see. Ranged weapons. A short bow. Is it a short bow or is it just a bow bow? Short bow. There we go. Yeah, those are pretty useless. All right, all right, good. And then let's also add in an order. We could smelt these down. Um, as far as the knives, yeah, we could do that. Let's add in a bill. Add bill to smelt weapon. But let's do only hmm, ingredients. All, not persona weapons, not range weapons, but only, n not even most of these, just knives. Uh, I'm not sure, can I change material? I don't really need knives that much anyway. They're just not that good. But I don't want them to be like smelting plasteel knives. Are they even able to? I'm not sure, honestly. All right, could be like a little, I uh, check on that, but maybe I'm misspeaking. All right, how is our colony doing now? I guess I, I said I would give like a little bit of a base tour. Maybe we'll do a little bit of that and then we'll put a bookmark in it. I've actually been streaming for a very long time now. I think we got started about three hours ago, so not really out of place here. The colony is not perfect in its current state, but it's certainly farther along than it was before. Um, we have a prisoner, and we're well on our way to having four, if not five, colonists. After this guy gets out of bed, uh, I think we are having to wait longer for him, though. For so, yeah. I mean, it's been like... Should I just release this guy? I don't know what's going on here. Whether it's some sort of, like, UI port thing or what. But I believe it's been over 30 days, and it still says that it's only 27 days. I may just banish him. Can it banish him since he can't walk? Either that or we just have him in bed. No, but not only does he have paralytic abasia, but there seems to be some kind of bug on him where he's just, like, he has paralytic abasia for four times longer or something like that. I don't really know what's going on unless if somebody else can see it. Yeah, we might just have to, like, euthanize him because there's no other way of getting rid of him. Either that or we could use him... Like... All right, I know what I'm going to do when we get the next raid. But that will have to start off the next video because I need to just, like, leave him there as an offering to future people. Otherwise, we just have some guy bedridden with, uh, uh, or, you know, he does have some nice organs. That's a good point. Be a shame if something were to happen to them. Um, <laughs> uh, you don't think I'm being... <laughs> of course, I'm being facetious. Anyway, um, but where are we otherwise, though? I mean, I like our colony. We have a decent rec room. The only thing is we just, we need more bodies here. Birthday, that's an emergency for some reason. No, Adam got asthma due to aging. Oh no, and he's gonna try to use Glitter World Medicine for, I'm so, 
hang on a second. I must have not switched this the last time. Yeah, this is when they get the plague. All right, here we go. Nope, none of that. Herbal medicine or worse. There we go. Okay, good, that's fine. You can use herbal medicine. Oh, we have a surplus of most things. Peg legs and arms, we could do that. Peg legs and arms. And we're also getting kind of low on slate, but this guy's gonna be a miner, so he could be very useful for that. All right, I'm gonna designate like a lot more of the fridge to be mined out a bit. Let's just make sure we're recruiting him. Yeah, we're not getting enough time to work on these people. Hang on a second, I just wanna make sure that they've got decent work. Wardening, wardening. Okay, let's give shields, let's allow him to Warden as well, because that's an important, important task. Just when you when you've got it in front of you. The mad hair is over there. Prepare for the hair. Oh, from over there. Okay, you are useless. Come on, man! It's just a hair. Use your bolt action rifle. There we go. I don't know why I did that. That was actually very risky. He's fine, he's fine. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I think that there's a couple more defenses and things like that. But I'm at the point where I feel like that the colony has come sufficiently farther than it was at the beginning. You know, we have fully laid out bedrooms. We have a fully set up research room. Now we're getting some type of art and stuff like that going on. So the colony will be further more uh, beautiful and prevent mood breaks because people aren't in really a perfect mood right now. Um, and we do still have some events that leads them to insanity at times.